What's up, everybody? We are jumping in to Baldur's Gate 3. How are you guys? Good evening. Or good morning, rather. Excuse me. I'm so used to saying good evening with Baldur's Gate 3. Jumping into Baldur's Gate today. Uh, we're like close. I think we're kind of close to the end. Uh, and man, what a long, what a long epic journey it's been with this game, right? Um, you know, of all the games, this game is a, a truly, truly epic game, is it not? It just kind of continues. Uh, there are some parts where it might be kind of hard to keep going, but just like what an amazing game Baldur's Gate 3 is. Uh, let us continue. Uh, the last thing we did, uh, I feel like this is almost more for me in the VODs when I'm making the VODs for YouTube, more so than it is for actually anybody viewing. The last thing we did was we met a, the vampire who created Asterion and we killed him. And then I let Asterion ascend and become like insane, insano vampire. Baldur's Gate wide so, people happy. He is now the Captain Insano Vampire himself. So, uh, pos also that broke my oath. <laughs> also that broke my oath for the record. So I gotta, I gotta, I gotta try and get my oath stuff fixed up. Or maybe I'll just say fuck my oath. You know what? I'm my oath is to me and being awesome and whooping ass. Maybe that, maybe that's my oath. Uh, hang on one second here. Uh, Ophelia, thank you for the 34 months. Jack Deluxe, thank you for the sub. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Pre Charcoal, thanks for the sub. Appreciate that. Thank you, guys. How are you guys? The Oath has run its course. Uh, so, yeah, uh, now Asterion's like Captain Insano Vampire. And I guess I have to leave now? Leave or something? Uh, we're heading out. Let's see. Invasion plans. Everybody is planning on invading this place, wherever, wherever it was. There's a charred goblin here. Key to Cazador's dungeon. Okay. Uh, Brutus Maximus. Morning, Thank Bart. you very much. Have a good Saturday. Appreciate that. Thank you, Brutus Maximus. Thank you, Ophelia, for the sub. Appreciate that. Did the prisoners die, actually? I feel like, uh, I think what happened was Asterion absorbed their souls. So, like, Asterion absorbed all, like, 7,000 of their souls. Some, something like that, basically. Uh, Tranced Joe, thank you for the tier 3 23 months. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. There was a lot of line stepping. What can I say? Gabnon's a habitual line stepper. <laughs> He's a habitual line stepper. That was, a, that was Chappelle's show, right? He's a habitual line stepper, and sometimes you had to check him. <laughs> so I think to get my oath shit sorted, I have to, like, go back to camp or something. Rick James. Uh, and I think... Yeah, I think it looks like all the prisoners are dead. Yep. Uh, locked. Here we go. Also locked. I have the key to Cazador's dungeon, but I don't really know what that opens or not. Uh, do we go this way? I wake up. Oh, this is like Cazador's room, right? I have room, lots right? of Saturday plans. I see Bark streaming. Those plans are now dead. Uh, Kono Kun, thank you for the... Don't blame me. Thank you for the 50 months. Thank you very much. Don't blame me for that. It's on you, buddy. Uh, row of books, wooden desk. I think we were here a while ago. What does it say? Velioth? On the pillow rests a skull with a skull. Yeah, let me turn up the volume. The skull's empty eye sockets flare with an eldritch gleam. You feel invited somehow to witness the skull's memories. It seems urgent. I did break my oath, apparently. Yeah, this sure. skull is all that remains of the vampire Velios. He turned Casador, gave him the gift, and then taught him the rules of vampiric existence. Uh, what is Velios's first lesson? Sure, let's try it out. Uh, well, uh, this is a tough roll. Sure, go for it. You aren't going to reload? Oh, you mean like... I'm not going to reload that Asterion is now, like, Satan. No, I, I think I'm cool with him being Satan. I know it's not the most popular game you stream, but I always appreciate a bit of BG3 bark cheers. reached out to a former friend. His punishment was to watch 
As Velioth drained hmm. his friend. Uh, what are birds? Thank you for the thousand bits. Thank you very much. I greatly appreciate that. Thank you, what are birds? So Velioth turned Kazador, and when Kazador tried to talk to a friend, then Velioth killed him. So, like, in some ways, it's kind of painting Kazador as also like a victim, right? More barb, I say more. Uh, Sauron the Almighty, thank you for the 32 months. Firestar, thank you for the 49 months. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. What was the second lesson? This is going to be another really tough role, isn't it? Are we are we going to succeed on any of these roles? No. <laughs> no, we are not. You were distracted by an errant thought and lose the thread of Velioth. If only Gabnon wasn't stupid. Velioth recalls when Kazador rebelled against him. Kazador suffered 11 years of impalement because he failed. So Velioth was a piece of shit, huh? Velioth was a real piece of shit. I'm, I'm just going to fail every single roll. These are tough rolls, I guess, right? I wonder if you uh if you succeed these if you, you get the anything. Shock of impalement allow your focus to waver. <laughs> and Valiot's words drift away. Yeah, vampires seem like pieces of shit. Of time. Valioth recalls Casador, his lessons learned, killing him in the void of perfect slaughter. How they both laughed. Bumpy Numption taken for the 27 months. Casador boiling the flesh from his skull and then to mock him clamping his schooling scroll in Velioth's jaws. The skull's eyes flash a final time, and its jaws sag open. The scroll with all of Kazador's rituals is yours. Velioth. Ah, uh, thank you, Bumpy. No okay. Receive the Black Mass Scroll. Okay, let me uh, sort by latest. What is this? Uh, unfurling the scroll reveals a list of foul rites detaining, uh, detailing all the ways death can be turned to one's advantage. The right of perfect slaughter, let us see the sacrament. The right of profane ascension. Uh, walk in the sun, suffer not from hunger, grow your power. A pact's been made with the Lord of Hellfire, delivering to him 7,000 souls, each bearing an infernal mark. You should be free. So this is what, uh, this is, uh, what Asterion did, uh, pretty much. Okay. Meditations of a Vampire Lord, Eternal Cruelty. You read this. My soul is made ink and written onto this parchment where its scroll sleeps for eternity unless you free it. So we, we just, I guess we just freed his, the vampire's soul there, I guess. Well, whatever. All right. End game is lengthy. I think we've done, um, we've done a good chunk of it. Uh, we did, uh, Shadow Hearts. Oh, uh oh. Uh oh, um, hang on, real quick. <laughs> you know, it looks uh, there's a there's a posse here waiting for me. It seems. <laughs> it would seem that there is some sort of posse waiting for me. Uh, silly giraffe, thank you for the 31 months. Thank you very much. I did Shadow Hearts thing. We just were finishing up Asterion's thing. Um, we we have to do something else for Will's thing, but like we're kind of doing just about everything. I think. Hold there, Spawn. Spawn? <laughs> I am the Vampire Ascendant. Girl. And I thought I was done with your wretched little tribe. Wretched. We're not done. Not even close. My name's Alma. My people are monster hunters. Those of us that remain, that is. Your companion attacked us in the night and stole our children. Then his master decimated what was left of the tribe. <laughs> you can't blame a spawn for the sins of his master. Any good monster hunter should know that. True. So imagine my surprise when I heard you'd fled. Heard you were a rogue spawn, free from Cazador's control. We searched half the Sword Coast for you, hoping you could help us destroy him, only to track you right back here. And what do we find when we arrive? One blood-sucking ah! beast replaced with another. Our children sacrificed to birth a monster. Oh, please, 
There's no need for such language. You wanted Cazador dead. Our Whitmer thing for 39 here. months. I even killed a few thousand spawn whilst I was at it. You should be thanking me for saving you the trouble. Uh, I need a Sterion strong to save the city. This is the lesser evil. Uh, we don't have to fight. We can work together. Let's tell her the lesser. This is the lesser of the lesser evil. There is no greater or lesser. There is only evil. And it stands before me. Look at the hate in their eyes. They won't ever stop hunting me. We gave you a choice and you chose power. Uh, how did you give me a choice? Just. Haven't I never seen these but people before? I still have hope for you that you will make a better choice. Uh-oh. Will you stand against evil? Will you help us destroy this monster? You're right. Asterion has to be stopped. Can you actually, like, kill Asterion here? Like, all fucking... <laughs> let's all beat his ass. <laughs> uh, no, I stand with him. I can't. There has to be another way. Kind of curious. Like, imagine we just all turn on Asterion. <laughs> You just turn on him? Yeah, I'm kind of curious. I want to see what happens. Do we all just turn on him? You're right. He's got to be stopped. What? You treacherous little shit. I'll kill you all! <laughs> Imperial. Is it really all of us versus Asterion? Thank you for everything you do, man. <laughs> it's really all of us versus Asterion? <laughs> Oh, I'm not doing that. I don't want that. I want Asterion on my side. Yeah, Suck we're not board. doing that shit. Hope you're doing good today. Uh, Macamese, thank you for the sub. Appreciate that. Pumpernickel, thank you for the 30 months. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. We're not getting rid of Asterion. Over these fucking random dickheads, are they going to replace him in my party? I don't think that. I don't think so. We gave you a choice. Of Jelonium. Asterion disapproves of that. Against evil, will you help us destroy this monster? I can't. There has to be another way. There is not. <laughs> My dear, I wouldn't want it any other way. Kill them. Kill them all. Can you actually take Axe Grandma? That's kind of cool. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that, you know, that's an awesome graphic novel. Axe Grandma. I kind of want to see that. Uh, let's see. Axe Granny. Jamie Lee Curtis will play Oma in the Baldur's Gate movie. The Netflix adaptation. Where do they get all these fucking random dipshits anyway? Can you actually get Axe Grandma? Let's see. I think we can... Go here. Hide. Uh, these guys are kind of nerds anyway. Not too, not too scared. Let's go uh, take a shot at uh, Axe Grandma. Nice. And then we will hide again. Okay. Uh, Jaffon, thank you for the 53 months. Thank you very much. Ow. Ow. Oh, let's see. So I broke my oath. So no more oath for Gabnon. Uh, Crusader's Mantle. Huh, when did I get Crusader's Mantle? I feel like I've never seen that before. Interesting. Make weed burst from the ground. Creatures moving through that will have their movement. When did I get this shit? Have I always had this? All of a sudden, I have this shit. Uh, let's see. Still can't use Mind Blast. Oh, do you get that from Oathbreaker? Is that what that is? That's kind of cool. Uh, let's go ahead. I was tempted to try some of this stuff. Protection from poison, a wrathful smite. Possibly frightens your target. They'll have disadvantage on ability checks and uh, cannot, they cannot move. I feel like that might be kind of pointless. 
Go ahead. Frightened. Yeah, it was kind of pointless because we just fucking killed her anyway. Okay. Kind of what I suspected. Oh, that was, a, that was a lot of damage on Shadow Heart there. Uh, and Bolt, thank you for the uh, brand new Twitch Prime. I really appreciate that. Yeah, it turns out letting uh, letting Asterion become Super Satan uh, is against your oath. <laughs> As it turns out. Who would have thought? Uh, thank you, Ambolt. Thank you, Jathon. Appreciate that. As a counterpoint, uh, Super Satan is pretty cool. Um, mirror image crate of yourself and distract attackers. Morning, Spirit guardians, babe. blade. Barb cheers. Why don't we go cast? Uh, so this, uh, let's see, this one creates increases armor class by two. I feel like he's probably going to take the most damage. Do that and. Um, We'll do a sacred flame here. Right. Although honestly, I feel like Gadmon's got a really high, uh, really high armor class. So I don't know if that does much for him. Okay, let's. Uh, we're gonna attack this guy with Lazel. Paladins are lame. You let one vampire ascend to godhood, and suddenly you're an oathbreaker. I know, right? Bonk. Oh, oh, we knocked him out. Huh? Do you knock somebody out when um? Why? Did, I, I don't think I've ever seen that. Why? Well, I'm not sure why that knocked him out. Uh, Antonius, thank you for the tier three 79 months. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. So much for that armor class. Pommel strikes considered non-lethal. Pommel strike always does that. Oh, okay. Oh, they have like a healer over there, huh? I've never seen that happen, I guess. Oh, I must have been like dazed or something, huh? Okay, I guess, uh, yeah, I guess I couldn't move for some reason or other. Uh, all right, your turn. Pumler Gredget. Okay, is that what it was? He was confused or something? Yeah, Jim. Uh, let's see. Branding Smite. This uh, marks your target with light. I feel like I haven't seen some of these abilities before. All right. Uh, smack. Smack. Ow. You know, for a super vampire, you're kind of sucking a Sterion. These guys have a lot of uh, ranged bullshit, huh? Oh, uh, they just lost Shield of Faith somehow. Uh, how is she losing that? She's It's because she's ensnared and confused. Hostile to everyone, wanders around aimlessly, and occasionally skips turns in its stupor. Interesting. Let's hit you with a trip attack. Smack, smack. Uh, we need to take a long rest anyway. Let's go uh, do action surge. Let's uh, finish you off. Um. Kind of want to like, is this the one that has a bless on? Who's got concentration? Concentration, concentration, bless. I'm gonna go uh, Misty Step right next to her 
And we're gonna smack her around a little bit. Trip attack. Okay. And uh, let's see, main attack. How about the uh, menacing? There we go. Okay. What's up, Paxolotl? How's it going, dude? Do I have a dispel? Um, I mean to like break the concentration or something. A lot of healing. Okay, we hide. And uh, let's see, 85%. Ooh, that also cast a uh, guiding bolt on him. Ooh, I can do this. Ascendant bite, and I can finish her off. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that was he gained 22 HP from that. Hell yeah, dude. All right. Did I finish my Elden Ring run? I have not. No, no haven't finished it yet. Bong. And bonk. Nice. And bonk. Bam. How'd you miss a 90% chance of bonk? Okay. Am I betting on tomorrow's Super Bowl? Uh, I mean, I don't know if that's a serious question, but... I, I don't do sports betting. I'm not really a gambler, honestly. Not much of a gambler. Who is, it, who is even in it? The, is it the Chiefs and who? Chiefs and who? Chiefs and the 49ers? Oh... Uh, I, I honestly don't really care. Uh, I guess I'm going for the Niners, I, I guess. But I don't really care about either team, honestly. Uh, not great odds to hit on any of these for that one. What about Fireball? Fireball has a 50% chance. Critical hit. Wow. Good job, Shadowheart. Like you never do that. Surprise you hit it all. Uh, let's see. Trip attack on you. Trip attack. Nope. Uh, trip attack. Nope. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Understandable. Okay, let's go here and hide. And let's take out Gandril. That's a pretty decent damage there. Time for a new I missed Asterion. I missed Asterion. He's a fun party member to use. Karlak was... Um, it's it's the way I built Karlak, but Karlak was a little dull, I felt. I know it's like the way I built what her. What up, Borb? Happy Saturday. Bonk. Bonk. Uh, why couldn't I uh oath broken why when he ran away why couldn't I do a reaction hit Did he, he must have used disengage or something I guess uh love to hate me thank you for the sub appreciate that welcome back I guess he used disengage or something go ahead and uh heal everybody that will also bless everybody Oh, is the psionic thing, is that considered a reaction? I didn't know that, actually. I had no idea. All kinds of things I don't know about Baldur's Gate, honestly. <laughs> Fury, I am death. Okay, we're gonna jump here. I probably used a reaction, okay. So theoretically, it's better to not react 
uh, to potentially, like, swing your weapon, which would be better. Okay, let's, uh, misty step here. To the death. And, oh, this is actually, is this considered a sneak attack? Oh, that was very, very satisfying. Do better to test these new powers on. All right, they're all dead. We killed Axe Grandma. Do be Doesn't really explain it either. Yeah, there's like a lot of little things about the game that you kind of have to pick up and uh, you, you figure out as you go. Asterion's living his best life. He's having a, he's having a great time being Satan. Undead Bane deals an additional one to six slashing damage against fiends and the undead. Uh, that's interesting. Be a soft bedroll in my near future. Take that. Being Satan is great. <laughs> uh, how are you guys doing? How's your weekend? I woke up today feeling like shit, but I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, new crossbow. You have advantage against monstrosity type enemies. I guess we can take that. Was Helldivers still busted? So this morning and Hell so Helldivers is completely fucking dead to me. It, well, it's like, well, not dead to me, but it's completely dead. Uh, I tried uh, reestablishing the database. I tried uninstalling and reinstalling it. I tried, uh, hey, babe. Okay. No, maybe another cup of coffee. Uh, I also did a factory reset on my PlayStation 5. Like I did everything nothing doing it's just dead it's just dead i deleted the save file i deleted the save file on the cloud i deleted all the save files nothing just completely nothing man well i mean here's the thing is like i hate to be like i love the game like i really really enjoy the game and i hate to say this but like if i bought it doesn't it have like uh, a responsibility to work in some way so like i don't know if i want to give them like another like, as much as I enjoy the game, am I going to give them more money for, like, what? Is this going to also happen on PC to me? Like, I feel like it very easily could, right? I don't know. I do feel like there's a responsibility of the thing working to some degree. So, call me crazy on that. This one does 6 to 15 damage. We can go replace, uh, let's see. The only difference with this one is it has uh, advantage against monstrosity, but I feel like the crossbow on Karlak is pointless anyway, right? But she never uses it. Uh, I think this would be just very slightly better because it, it, if we ever face monstrosity type weapon enemies, right? Uh, so I guess we can uh, warp out of here or something, right? The elevator lies ready to carry you back up to the palace. Sure, go ahead. Oh, we're talking about Helldivers 2. Helldivers 2. Uh, yes, I also downloaded the patch. I, like I said, I tried everything this morning. So. I mean, don't, don't get me wrong. I Still love alive. the game, but it's just completely dead. Uh, I think we can rule out that it's my console. Other games are working on my console, so I'm pretty sure we could rule that out. Not my console, so... Uh, dude, I uh, held. I love the game. I think the game is super fun. Really, really fun game. Yeah, maybe the. I, I think I'm kind of a wait and see situation now. We'll see if the devs can uh, patch it and stuff. Yeah, I love it, but I honestly can't recommend it because the game just doesn't even work on my console anymore. So, I'll give it a shot. I say maybe wait and see if they iron out some issues or anything. I don't know. Which is a game like Helldivers is set in the 40k universe? I'm on PS5. I'm on PS5. Okay, let's take a look at my quest here. So we have this for aiding the Underduke. The other thing we have to do is... Uh... Yeah, so he died. <laughs> oh, we can't even do this because Gale was kidnapped, right? We can't even do that. Um, let's see. Get to kill all these people. Uh, there was something else we have to do about using lightning to open up a gate. Here, let's go take a long rest. Let's go take a long rest. We're gonna hear about my oath, I guess. 
Let's see what let's see what my oathbreaker thing has to say. Hmm? You need to do with all your friends and friend requests to chug when you open that menu. And that's what caused the crash. You were stuck until they fix it on their side. I it it might be that. I don't know. I don't know. I guess we'll I guess we'll find out. All right. Let's uh let's see if anybody wants to talk. Someone in camp so wish to speak to you. Go to bed anyway. All right. Who wants to talk to me? Hysterion wants to talk to me. Okay. Are you still timed out? You are not still timed out. <laughs> you probably expect me to turn into a sea of mist. Run wrong side up on roofs. And to call on legions of wolves in battle. What's up, Gregorio? This will happen in due time. But for now, patience is required. I hear the whispers of the night, but I can't yet speak its language. It's going to take a while to become acquainted with my new self. Uh, you, what is next for you? Everything lies ahead. I can see my path to a waking dream. From the Crimson Palace, I will govern day and night. Create a city of spawn who bow before me, cast a fog over the world for my children. You're gonna create more spawn, huh? But first, we must manage the trifling matter of the brain. Perhaps it will listen to us. Perhaps he became like more of a douchebag. Even more of a douchebag. Was killing Kazador not enough? You already want more? Vengeance has been reaped upon Kazador. But not the world that made him. Not the world that makes people like him. Be careful, Asterion. If you're sure that's what you want, I'll fight with you. <laughs> All right, I kind of want to see what that is. Baldur's Gate is a city of opportunity like no other. And I don't intend to let one like this pass us by. Oh, that's it? Okay. I, I was kind of hoping there'd be something else to say, but I guess that's all. Fair enough. Trying to break out the old wooden stake. I killed him once, I can kill him again. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I, I assume he's gonna that guy's gonna come to me in my dreams or something, right? And he's gonna be like, you fucking fucked up your oath, bitch. Alright, let's do a full rest. Yeah, he's just an asshole now. Wait, how do you um uh Go to camp and contemplate what next. I'm not sure what you do then. Is he in the camp? Oh, that guy is in camp. Oh. Oh, Oathbreaker Knight. Oh, okay. I see. I mean, really, the only thing I lost by breaking my oath was one spell. I lost healing radiance. That's like it, actually. That's not that big of a deal, right? We'll talk to him. Let's see what he's got. I have been waiting for you. I felt the moment of your liberation. The shedding of your bond. You called to me. I am here to show you the way. He looks like a character. He looks like one of the dudes from, uh, uh, does he look like Nightmare from Soul Calibur? Is that it? Kind of looks like that a little bit. Who are you? I was the first. The first to swear, the Who's first to, swear? to fall. When another's oath is broken, I stand witness. I hear their sorrow. I see their jubilation. I guide their hand. Oathbreaker, you swore to protect life itself. To serve the natural order. To protect order. those who value life and vanquish those who would destroy it. Tell me, why did you abandon your oath? I had no choice. Uh, 
I tired of it. It was not my intention. My actions had unexpected consequences. A lapse in judgment. To know the reason for your fall is perhaps to know the shape of things to come. Take comfort in your undoing. I, like you, abandoned my cause. But much can still be achieved. Your oath is broken. The light within you fades. A new power is awakening. How did I break my oath? I let Asterion become Ultra Satan. Uh, tell me more about these powers. Darkness will be your summons. The dead will march to your rhythm. Even now, these shadows gather around you. Hmm. They sense the cracks in your armor. They yearn to be used, to be inflicted. Happens to the best of us. Uh. Okay, so this is like. I can choose, like, basically, it's like, well, you can try to get your oath back, which I don't know how to do that. Or I can, like, go in on this, and then it's like I gain new darkness powers or something. Is there any way to reclaim my oath? It is possible. But such a promise must not be made lightly. Wealth must be sacrificed and your soul repledged. Hmm. It is wise to first consider what is gained. And what is lost in the bargain? I already made my choice. Should you wish to do so, speak with me again. I wish I, like, knew. What oath did you swear? I served a noble lord. I fought for him without question or restraint. With his light shone... It'd be nice to not have to worry my about my oath fall. ever again, that's for sure. In his name... <laughs> Villages put thousands to the sword. I believed our greater purpose required such brutality, such sacrifice. But his light was so radiant, it blinded me to all else. Is this I Cecile? Who's Cecile? And corruption of the path he led me down. When I finally saw the truth, he would not be reasoned with. So I ended him. This guy's pretty badass. For this, I was called Oathbreaker. Uh. Do you regret betraying your oath? Regret is for those who would act differently. I feel no such desire. Oh, thank oh, you, baby. past is past. Mm, no. We are here to discuss your future. This guy is cool. I'm re uh, bye. Fun. What did you achieve after abandoning your oath? I wielded the powers of darkness. Yet held a candle for those who needed the light. Hey, Dad. My actions followed no teaching, apart from my own justification. Good or ill, I made my choices. Eventually, uh, yeah, it's Scottish. I heard the call of others who had strayed. I showed them the way, as I show you now. I'm ready. Uh, you know what? Uh, why don't we save? Oop. I'll save. Let's say I will become an oathbreaker. Do not resist. Surrender and be remade. Though born of a vile source, these powers can be used for good or ill. Who was my oath to? Uh, oath of the Ancients? I'm the best paladin ever. Your oath no longer binds you. The choice is yours alone. Oh shit. 
So you have chill, you have broken your sacred oath in pursuit of power and ambition. Only darkness remains to to fuel you now. Okay. So spiteful suffering. Uh. Control undead. Dreadful aspect. Hellish rebuke is an evocation spell. Uh, inflict wounds. We've seen that one before. Instill madness on a human enemy, making them attack the creature close to them other than you. And this one is darkness. Uh, aura of hate. Interesting. We have bestow curse. We can curse somebody. And we have animate dead. Create an undead servant from a corpse. Okay. And I still have all of my smite abilities. I think I still have all of those, right? I also still have, uh, do I still have some of my heals or not? Revivify. Oh, we, I, I didn't realize we actually had a, uh, revive from dead spell. You can't do, you can't, I'm pr pretty sure you can't do that in battle, right? You can't do that in battle. How are you level 13? Uh, but no, I'm level 12, it says. So I still have uh, I still have lay on hands and cure wounds. It seems like I only lost one spell. Seems like I really only lost one. So, okay, cool. We still have divine smite and stuff. We still have all that. Oh, you can revive. You can still revive in battle. Oh, okay, cool. All right. Well, now I'm. Uh... Hi, everybody. Now I'm evil paladin. Okay, we're leaving camp. Max level is twelve. Right, yeah, it's like a different subclass. I get it. Hey guys, I'm evil. You always were. Well, now I'm like officially evil. Different. Uh, all right, let's take a look at our map. We wanted to go to the sewers or something. The sewers. And is it the Undercity Ruins? Is that where we're going? City Sewers, Undercity Ruins. Is that where we were? Okay, there's something to do over here to open up this door, I think. Yeah, yeah, this is it. The vessel returns. Most shamefully unleaking. Prove your faith. No, is this the right door? Uh, how can I prove myself? You must bear proof of the Dreadlord's favor. Hmm. Or pay his toll of blood. There was like another door that required lightning to open. Uh, where the fuck was that door? Uh, hang on. Let me look at the quests. Hmm. Worm. Is that what it was? Worm Rock, rock Prison? I'm not sure where that is. Uh, completed quest. Is it listed here or something? Personal quest. Deal with the devil. South span of worms. It's Will's quest. City sewers. I thought the door was here. A is it aid the underduke? We met the guild master. You set a trap for new arrival of the stone lord. Is this what we have to do? Is that it? Where Gortash is? No, it's not. You can fast travel to Worm Rock. I can. House of Doors Dungeon, Baldur's Gate, Heapside Harbor, Worms Crossing, Rivington. Hmm. Basilisk Gate is where we just were, right? Um, I don't know, actually. Let's go here. Yeah, I must be uh, missing something. I must be missing something, right? Uh, yes, I tried to load up Helldivers this morning, and it's still broken. Still completely broken. Still broken. Maybe it'll get fixed at some point. Who knows? Wall of Stone, Thieves Tools, Arrow of Ice. Sure, sure. Late notice of Will's because we got info when his dad died. I remember that. I remember all that. But I still don't see what to where it is or what to do. Um let's 
see. Can we, like, this looks like poison or something. Is there somewhere to go here? Uh, this, it kind of looks like there's more path here, but it kind of also seems like a dead end, too. Uh, hmm. Okay, I guess dead end. Uh... Helldiver's a lot of fun, sucks to Yeah, I mean, it's just not loading anymore, right? Not really much I can really do. So. Rip, rip me, I guess. Rip me. Seems to be a barb issue. Yeah, it seems like it's kind of only happening to me. Uh, so, you know, I mean, I don't really know what to tell you. I can get south of here. What is this one? Escape the deal. There's a cache there. Let's go to the Undercity Runs. Let's go south. Uh, I've done everything I possibly could, I think. Like, you name it, I did it with my PlayStation 5. Like, I, I even reset it to factory settings. I've, uh, I deleted all save files. Uh, turned off, on again, you name it, I did it. It's still, it's doing the exact same thing. What's going on at Helldiver? I was thinking about buying it today. Basically, like, it's just not loading on my PlayStation 5 anymore. It's just dead on my PS5. Um, yeah, I did all that today. I plugged, I plugged it directly into my, uh, I plugged it directly in. And, uh, yeah, still not a... Just ain't working, brother. Getting bored, our Lord sends us a little diversion. Okay, uh, unfortunately, the rest of my party decided to not show up here. Yeah, I don't understand why this happens when they like, I just want all my party to get together. I, ha I hate when this happens. It's like whenever you're, it's like the, the way you, the AI behaves around, um, the way the AI behaves around stuff is really annoying. Yo, here for the fun. They don't want to walk Still into the poison, body. but like I'm trying to like not die. Uh, one of the dark. Thank you for the 21 months. Thank you, one of the dark. Appreciate it. Right, I know it's just annoying. Like, come on, just please get over here, right? Uh, let's see. So these guys seem like nerds. A better position. I think this should not be difficult. down to push my luck again. These boots have seen more knowing the air would sprint straight to the dumbest shit possible that also sounds annoying I won't lie <laughs> that also sounds annoying but there's no need for a critical hit here She just summoned some a bunch of birds. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that spell. Uh, let's see. So if I'm, oh, that's why. Where the hell does bird come from? Okay, uh, try again. 
he thinks this game ends. I, I know it ends, actually. I know it ends. Just uh, it's going to take some work. I'm, I'm planning a long day of this today. Did that bird just fly in the water? Bullshit. Man, there's a lot of fucking birds here, dude. Holy crap. Yeah, I'm planning uh, we're going to hit this game hard. I, I do really want to finish this game. Ow. So all blinded, uh, disadvantage on attack rolls. Okay. Divine smite, yeah, sure. Give him a divine smite, why not? And give him a bludgeon here too. We'll save the reaction there. Now, let's see. I don't think I'm going to be able to get away from this. Uh, why don't I go ahead and attack the birds? No need for crits. Okay. Uh, I won't say kind of disappointed in the last encounter, but I won't say anything else. Uh, oh, like the last encounter of the game. Oh, okay. I don't know. We'll see. And hey, we're watching you from Thailand. How do you like this game? Baldur's Gate? Uh, I really enjoyed Baldur's Gate. I think it's awesome. Ow. This guy fucking hurts. Very fun game. Uh, I think there's a couple of things I think about it that are either like a little irritating to me or uh, that I find strange. Uh, I find the uh, I find the game's difficulty curve to be extremely strange. I would say. go this way try to kill these birds these birds are assholes man fuck you bird it's got a weird difficulty curve in my opinion it's one of the known issues for hell divers when it happened on a ps5 though it was one of involving game guard catching false positives that's just uh detecting some of the extra hardware for ps5 to stream well, no, that can't be true because it's still crashing even though I, uh, I I detached it from my capture card. It was plugged directly into my monitor, so no, that can't be it. Okay, let's bonk him. Bonk him again. And bonk the bird. All right, bird's dead too. Let's turn someone inside out. So all we have left are birds. Shoutouts to dual wielding and one more bird. Okay. GG. You'd be more of a munchkin. Take your PS5 offline try to start the game. You can't load up the game in offline mode. Uh, it just says failed to connect. It's a game that you have to play online. Arrow of many targets. Deal an additional half damage to three other targets in range. Another arrow of Roaring Thunder. Murderous Cut. Smoke Powder Bombs. The big bombs are always useful to find. Do you experience something with Elden Ring when talking about the difficulty? No. No, I wouldn't say that at all. Uh, let's see. What do we have here? There's a sluice valve. This one's stuck. Uh, hmm. Water level rising? Interesting. The temperature valve. 
Emergency release valve. What the fuck is this? <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? Uh, hang on, let me read the note first. Let's read the note. Oh, uh, what's up, Bond Villainous? How's it going, dude? You probably want to open the sluice gate so you can get into the cistern and muck it out. They need to manipulate the valve to get the water level and heat to their optimal levels at the same time. Don't get scalded. Oh, God! Shadowheart just got like an exploded shit to the face here. Um. Okay, so it like takes time. Okay. That might not be the last one. Okay, so it was that perfect warm, and now it's not. Interesting. I feel like I'm working in the Titanic engine room right now. Hey, I turned the valve. Okay, water level rising. And the temperature is going up. Perfect. Was that perfect warmth? Why is it blocked? What is this shit? Wait, how did wait? How did he take ten damage from falling? What is going on right now? <laughs> wait, I did it. Hang on, let's take a short rest. We're getting fucking wrecked here. What the hell happened to Asterion? Whatever. I'm not, I'm not sure how I did it. I feel like I don't understand that, but okay. Puzzle God. This puzzle sucks balls. Apparently I, I, I solved it without even realizing it, apparently. Uh, oh, and we got uh, a lot more of the murder bitches are here, huh? More murder bitches. Yeah, I don't understand. Explain what happened. There was some kind of thing with like, uh, like you have to balance the valves or something. And uh, I somehow did it I somehow succeeded on it I don't really know how so I can't uh oh I could do um I can't reach him I could just shoot him, I guess. I can't, I also can't sneak attack. Uh, Lazel and she, they're in the way. Which is annoying. Cause I'm also at a disadvantage. I'm not really sure why I am. Okay. Yum. I, I, it doesn't let me jump over probably cause of the ceiling. I guess let's just shoot him. Why do I have a disadvantage here anyway? Cause I'm too close or something. Oh, path. It says path is interrupted. Ah, whatever. Really? <laughs> All right. Great. They take less damage from projectiles. I shot the floor. I, I guess I, they, I don't think Asterion could have done anything unless it's because we're trapped in this tunnel. Unless I had used Misty Step, which I feel like I don't want to use Misty Step. Okay, so this guy is level eight. Misty Step is actually useful when you need it. Yeah, it's like the tunnel is annoying. All right, let's just fucking bonk him. Oh, 
bonk. We'll just bonk him. And, uh... Alright, and I think Lazel is probably gonna finish him off here. I want to make sure I don't hit Shadowheart with this fucking greatsword here. There we go. Okay, he's gone. Taking position. These like Nightblade guys are pretty pathetic, honestly. You know, you know what enemies are way worse than these fucking Nightblade dickheads? You know which enemies are way worse? Like some of the first enemies you fight in the game. They're, they're some of the first enemies you fight in the game. The gnolls, those fucking guys, they attack so many fucking times. The gnolls are so much worse than these guys. And those are like the guys you fight the first in the game. Yeah, those guys are insane, dude. Those guys are ridiculous. Uh, Sega Bingen, thank you for the sub. Really appreciate that. Thank you, Sega Bingen. Those guys are insane, man. They're like, attack, 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 attack. And you just started the game, so you're like dead in one fucking hit. It's ridiculous. All right. Bonk. Another step forward. If you're slow, did I lose my action? Huh. I only get the one attack, huh? That's kind of crazy. Oh, man. I just cleared this area after a way different act two than Barb had. Yeah, only getting one action is kind of wild, actually. 85% chance and Shadowheart still missed. Seems about good. Uh, let's hit you, Bonk. Oh, he's got the fucking unstoppable shit. Uh, yo, Silence of Fries, thank you for the 40 months. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Getting slowed is, uh, really rough. It's really rough. Uh, I think I'm actually max level. <laughs> You're like, he's under level. I think I am literally maximum level. Yeah, slow is, uh, wild. Seems like, uh, slow lasts, like, a long time, too. Wow. Uh, how do you, uh, if you wanted to, how do you even remove it? You have to break concentration on the caster. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, I suppose let's try a fireball here. Yeah, seems about right. That's a good one. It's constant. Yes, I, I didn't realize slow was so crazy. Well, these guys are stunning me and slowing me. If they could actually damage me, I might be in a lot of trouble here. Really? Haste, slow, or concentration got you. So does haste allow you to take, like, multiple actions then? Because that would also be crazy. Strike hard, strike fast. Divine strike. Wow, she double crit? Who the fuck are you? Haste, insane, extra action. Wow. I never realized. I used Bless a lot at the beginning of the game. Because the beginning of the game, man, I, uh... It felt like I could not hit no matter what at the beginning. So I used Bless a lot at that point.
Dude, Asteria, Asteria just did 21,000 damage. <laughs> All right, let's, uh... Outmaneuver them. Uh, I don't have enough movement for Ascendant Bite. Okay. Sure. Man, that Ice Knife is uh, no joke, is it? React to your next attacker with flames. Oh, this is one of my new uh, things here. Hellish Rebuke. Yeah, let's try it. Oh, cool. That's kind of neat. It's like a spell, huh? All right, got you. That's a new thing, I guess. Well, thanks a lot, Gabnon. Really great job slipping on the... Are we all going to slip on the ice? Oh, my God. <laughs> Bro, fuck this guy. Sounds like fun. Fuck this dude. Man, getting out of this fucking tunnel was like a nightmare, man. Really, that's it. Okay, can I, like, shoot at this other guy? Nope. Alright. Uh... This guy is so fucking high up there. Still slowed. That's it! Wow, dude, I did not realize that slow is apparently the greatest spell in this game. I now, you know what? I learned. Today I learned. <laughs> Let's have a little fun. Oop, oh, hang on. Wrong one. Okay, another one down. Yeah, dude, I had no idea. Man, fuck all that shit. That was actually, like, those guys were nerds, but they kind of whooped my ass because of slow and all that shit. Do I have slow? Do I have that? <laughs> Do I have that fucking spell? Because holy crap. These boots have seen everything. Training shield. Gale might. Well, Gale has fucking got kidnapped. Okay, so I don't know where the hell we are. We're just kind of exploring here. Uh, Sound Surprise, thanks so much for the 40 months, dude. Appreciate that. Fly is broken. There's a chest over. There's a couple chests over there. Let's go check those out. I really miss Dale, yeah. Typical Dale. Ooh, oh, oh, we got food here? Hang on, I got a whole chicken? Uh, let's see, wooden chest. Gold, uh, superior healing, hell yeah. Uh, another gold, a silver goblet, meh. Uh, anything else? Wasn't there something was with the stones the stone lord with one of our quests, I think, had that? One of our one of our quests had something to do with that. Raw it's yeah, it's sewer chicken. If sewer chicken is wrong, I don't wanna be right. Yo. Uh, null to the skull. Thank you very much. Really appreciate the uh, 32 months, man. There's a chest over here.
And there's a ladder over there. Let's go up this ladder. Well, something to meet before it becomes wall meat. Wasn't there a story about some hallway chicken? Uh, yeah, that was at GDQ. Uh, it was a GDQ in Orlando. And uh, at the GDQ in Orlando, I kind of, for like that week, I was kind of living off of hallway chicken. In the hallway leading up to the room, they, uh, the hallway leading up to like the main stage for GDQ, they set up like a little cafeteria thing. So like pretty much for an entire week, I was eating the, the chicken they were selling in that hallway. It was, it was fine. It was like, it was like lowest common denominator kind of chicken, but it tasted all right. It was fine. There's a blast mine here. Uh, Asterion, do you have a better chance of disarming this than we do, right? Yeah, I think you do. Yeah, you do it. Oh, living like a ninja turtle. Well, I mean, it's just kind of hard to leave GD. Like, you don't you don't necessarily want to leave the hotel every time you want food and you weren't, uh, you know, I didn't really want to order or something, so. It was just easy. It was kind of cheap. It was there, so. This is also like what, like four, four years ago. What to do? Okay, Swift double doors. Can carry me. It's quite some time ago. This uh, another trap here. What is this? Seems simple enough. Yep. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, somebody asked about hallway chicken. Uh, so that put us here. Uh, so that was kind of pointless, I guess. Okay. Uh, Helldivers is still broken. Yeah, I, I can't play it. So I still don't know... Find Helsick the Diablo. That's escaping the deal. I still don't know where to find the thing. Man, isn't it under... Oh, this is where we need to go. This is it. The Blade of Frontiers. The Great Worm in a secret lair called the Wormway under the Worm Rock Prison. So where the fuck is Worm Rock Prison? Where is that shit? That's, I want to do this to get the dragon or whatever. Where, where the hell is that? Look at my warp points. Let's see. Baldur's Gate, Heapside Strand, Grey Harbor, Worms Crossing. This is under Worms Crossing. I guess let's go there. I broke. Yeah, they got sent to jail. And then I, I broke out and killed everybody. I did that. Let's try that. Back by Worms Crossing. All right, fair enough. Let's see if we can find it. Uh, how does our map look here? Oh, we never did the dribbles, the clown shit either. Okay, so we're going. There it is. There's Worm Rock Fortress. We also, I think we should be okay at the fortress uh, because we killed all the the robots are gone. So. I think we should be okay. This is fine. Robots are all dead. I do some funky shit to get there now. I guess we'll find out. Let me uh, save also. Wait, wait, I can't get in here? The fuck? Um, well, the gate is closed. Here's the funky shit. And can I talk to Fist Guy here? You're good to go. <laughs> All right. I'm with you then. Hey, lower the gate. You had the cheapest thing for Helldivers uh, from the PS Store and I had it crashing and fixed it by buying something. Bro, I'm going to fix my copy of Helldivers by giving them more money. This is bullshit. 
I, I did not try that, no. That also sounds incredibly bullshit. Can I, like, uh... Did I lose Misty Step? Was Misty Step part of my oath? Did I lose that? Can't afford to stay idle. I wonder what the next move is. Let's see. Uh, it looks like I actually could Misty Step in. Can I like lower the drawbridge or something? <laughs> Hang on. Don't touch me. You guys actually can't reach it. It's too high. Are you fucking serious? Um. So they need uppies. They can't. They can't make it up here. Oh, this is bullshit. Misty escape. Vertically challenged. I will never fly. Well, uh, I also have like dimension door and stuff. Like I have scrolls of it, but yeah, they can't make it up there. Um, time to press ahead. Hang on, let's take Lazel, and let's she can Misty step in here. Yoink! Are they going to attack me? Uh, do you think Lazel can like solo the whole place? Uh, shit. So I need to get in here with everybody. Like she's not gonna be able to solo the whole place. Damn. Time to fly out. She's a boss. Uh, she's not gonna be able to solo this whole fucking place. Man, how do I get in this fucking castle then? Can I like get here? Hang on. Can I go here? Space is interrupted. I could jump down here and I lose a hundred HP. It looks like there's like you can kind of get outside of the castle somehow. Um, minus 70 HP. Uh, hang on. What about here? Let's try here. Bard left, bard left, bard left. Maybe there's a way to get like down here or something. Uh, Miss Mary Mac, thank you for the sub. Appreciate that. Welcome on in. Thank you for the 13 months. Okay, now it's only 48 HP, 81 HP. <laughs> I mean, I'm tempted to just do this. I don't know if this helps me though. Like, does this even benefit me? I think that's a climbable ledge right there. Well, even if I could fly here, that doesn't help my other companions, right? Uh, hang on. Let's see, if I fly here. <laughs> All right, let's say I fly here. Um. I could misty step here. And now with uh I'm ready. I could dimension door with you. And you. If I can't. Hmm. Well, two of us made it down. I, I guess I, I'm trying to find a place to dimension door. Let's see. Uh, move to the... Yeah, yeah, I'm trying. Uh, dimension door. Says everything is out of sight. Too far. 
out of sight too far out of sight everything is too far out of sight they can't see over the railing hang on what if i um hey mario that big old 500 pound some bitch bowser just took the damn princess and used all the star power to put everybody in paintings now I need you to take your ass inside those paintings and recover the stars with a little bit of jumping, what? A little bit of punching, there what? And a little go. bit of ass whooping, what? To save Princess Peach. And that's the bottom line, cause Stone Toad said so. Dub C, thank you for 2,500 bits. Thank you, Dub C. I greatly appreciate that. Thank you very much. Genius bar. When did I break my oath? I broke it when I let Asterion become Ultra Satan. Uh, thank you, Dub C. Greatly appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. So much funnier that you made the audio worse. <laughs> Glad you enjoy. Uh, thank you, Dub C. I really appreciate that. I broke my oath. Uh, Asterion is now, he became a new ultra vampire lord. And now he's like, now he was like a dickhead before, but now he's like an even bigger dickhead, basically. <laughs> now he's an even bigger dickhead. Crack in wall to the prison, eh? There's a crack in the wall here. Interesting, interesting. Hmm. What's uh what's the before we go in there, what's down here? Let's take a look. I mean, I, I gotta be honest, if I could explain why I make the decisions I make in, in games, it's because I wanted to see what would happen. Because it seemed entertaining. <laughs> and it was it, to be fair, it was pretty entertaining. It was pretty fair. Uh, Malice? Because I felt like a douche caboose yesterday. Hope you're having a good morning. Aw, no, nah, it's okay. Please treat Katie and the girls to a nice family outing. It's okay. I'm used to people telling me how stupid I am. It's all good. Uh, Darth Roni, thank you for the 1,000 bits. You don't have to apologize. It's okay. <laughs> I was I was stuck on the crossword and sometimes I read a comment it seems like more douchey, you know, it's all it's all good. Thank you very much. What was that thing I just picked up? What the hell was that? Just so you don't forget. Pretty sure that between the guards, the arrows, and the jug uh the jug, the thunderbolt, you will never read the snow, but just in case, I want to make sure you know you did uh what you did to deserve all this. Remember that shiv you stuck in my leg and turned me in? That's why. Enjoy your escape while you can, R Swipe. I'll come in to haunt you in your sleep. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, honestly, I, I'm I'm mostly just a little sad. I can't play uh, that I can't play Hell Divers. I'm not like really angry. I'm just kind of sad. Oh. Here goes nothing. Well, let's go inside the prison here, I suppose. Um. Wait, was I in here? At some point. Oh yeah, yeah I submitted deals. the crash reports. Yeah, I did all that. Um. Boom, bitch. <laughs> was I in here at some point? Oh, this was the jail. Oh, okay. I think I looted all this stuff. Uh, yeah, I tried Hell Divers after the update. Yes, I did. Yeah, we escaped jail. We killed everybody in the jail. Um, so this one, Blade of Frontiers. Like, keep going this way. Thing here. Dragon Head Torch. 
Uh, Jomiani, thank you for the 26 months. Thank you, Jomiani. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Hmm. I'm playing the Steam version. No, I was playing the PlayStation 5 version. Uh. Any walls I can attack here? Wooden trunk. I mean, it says that there's like a something I can do. Maybe you think it's, but it says it's not above me, right? Uh, yeah, it is cross-platform. Yeah, it is. Huh. It's gonna be a fun day. What's up, Lost Hope? How's it going? I don't see anything here. Eggs. Shirt. Okay, let's start smashing stuff. Okay, well, there's nothing left to smash. <laughs> we smashed it all. Read this again. Uh, where is it? Blade of Frontiers. Uh, let's see. Secret lair called the Wormway. It's located within Wormrock Prison, and the notes inside it hint that opening way involves lighting sparks and torches. So there are torches nearby. There are torches. Sparks, though. Sparks and torches. Hmm. Lightning, light, right, right. Lightning, not lighting, right? That's what it says. I'm, I might have said lighting by accident. Lightning, sparks, and torches. So, I mean, these, obviously, these dragon heads seem, if I would guess, I'd say it's probably this. It also looks like there's something like this literally looks like a gate, right? So why don't we turn off these torches? Who has a lightning spell? Does somebody have a lightning spell? I don't think anybody has a lightning spell. Anybody has one. Gale is gone. He is gone, dude. He's He got taken. He got taken by what's her name. He's gone, man. He's completely gone. Stop asking about Gale. A uh, scroll of witch bolt. Uh. Wait, wait, okay. So she's doing lightning here. Can't give up now. Uh, we have another lightning. Surely we do. I don't think I have another lightning. That really it? Wall of ice. A lightning arrow. Good thought. Good thought. Uh, arrow of lightning. Um, can I like reload? What was my last save? Let's, uh, why don't we reload this, huh? Let's reload this real fast. I used everything. <laughs> why don't we go and reload that? Light the torches. I'm not looking for help or hints or anything. So if you would kindly shut the fuck up, I'd appreciate it. Thank you. Trying to play the game for the first time. We're gonna bash this wall open again. Ah! Uh, again. I was playing Baldur's Gate 3 stream this morning, but definitely a good surprise. Still have two more years. Yeah, dude, I really want to uh, put a dent in this game. And, uh, like, I, it's not like I want the game really to end, but it, I, I do want to beat it inevitably, right? So, unless I really put in 
It, like, this game is going to continue for so long, like, unless I do something right, so. Here, let's, uh, hang on. We're going to move you guys back. Keep a blade close. Uh, you guys go back. Might be doing Act 3 stuff, not running to the end. No time to rest. Oh, uh, let's see. We'll use the arrows of lightning. I feel like uh, I'm not really ever going to use these. Okay. Uh, oh, let me go to uh, turn-based mode. And arrow of lightning. There we go. Okay, fair enough. Uh, exit turn-based mode. Put on up. Got you. I thought that it would. I I thought I think it makes more sense to have the candles off first and then do it. But you know, whatever. That's fine. The fog wall. It's Dark Souls. Uh, let's go ahead and save. Mouse hole from worm rock cells. I'm way too big. Hmm. I wonder what these are. Are these? Can you cast like shrink on yourself and like sneak into these things? Is that it? Can you actually do that? Or druids? Are you like turn yourself into a mouse and shit? Interesting. Interesting. I've uh, I've, I I don't even know if I can, I'm pretty sure I can't do that. Cool though. Many ways, okay. I don't think I've ever gotten in any of those like tiny holes like that. I wonder if I missed out on anything like really cool. Went to a gerbil and climb into the mind flayer's ass. I mean, he might like that. That's all you uh, could get mine in this, this tiny holes. Okay, we you going somewhere else? A worm way. Okay, new area. The uh, the size of Baldur's Gate three is really um, it's really kind of astounding, isn't it? It's really like a huge game. Worms Lair, are incredible. The legends are true. We marked our place among them. We'll prove our worth with untrusted, unrusted swords. Meet the dragon, a good dragoner. So we pray. God bless our endeavor. Let's see what this does. The door. The statue before you bears a familiar likeness. It is Baldurin, the celebrated adventurer who founded the city of. Baldur's He's on the uh, the title screen. Peril floods my province. The palisades fall. The earth does tremble. The servants of shadow and blood assemble. Beyond lies the grand worm, deep in slumber, awaiting a true hero's advent. Should my domain drown in torment? Yeah. Be you the deluge, turn away. Be you the hero, answer true. Are you worthy? Poetic nonsense. There is no worm and no saint. What are you? What is this place? The statue gives no response. I am worthy. Open the way. Ancient Ansor, hear me. A champion is proclaimed. The test begins. Let I guess they're doing another run of Baldur's Gate 3 in the future. I think it'd be really fun to do a completely different class and make totally different decisions. Like, it'd be fun to use, like, let's, like, I'd play as, like, maybe, like, uh... Uh, a bard or a, a, a sorcerer and maybe instead of this class i would have like gail uh will and somebody else could be really fun you know i don't know yeah i think that could be really really enjoyable two centuries walking the streets and i never knew this was under them <gasps> what other wonders have i missed there's also uh, uh who was that chick? Uh, it was at the at the beginning of the game. They make you choose between getting the druid guy and then the other chick, right? And I guess I killed the other chick like instantly. And I remember chat was pretty mad at me about that. Minthara, that's it. So like, 
there's all different things you could do you could also make your own classes too like there's there's so many things to play with in this game yeah i think i killed her in like one hit and chat was like no She has a great sexy time. Monk is, yeah, Monk could be fun. Yeah, that could be fun. Another statue of Baldurin, eh? A champion burns bright. Even when rushing waters and moaning winds threaten to extinguish the flames. Take the torch. Monk is busted, you think so? I feel like everybody says every class is busted. Courage. Is there a, is there an agreed upon worst class? Is there an agreed upon like this class is terrible? Let's go and save again. Ranger, rogue, rogue is bad. Druid, druid is bad. Sorcerer, you think sorcerer is bad? I've heard sorcery is crazy good. I've heard that that's crazy good. They fixed it. Ranger is boring. Ranger and druid are pretty meh. Hmm. Take the torch. Yeah, I kind of expected we were about to get attacked here. Air elemental. Kind of expected it. This way. The subtle approach. Ooh, these guys got a lot. These guys are some fucking tanky bitches, huh? Okay. And hide again. Uh, I could do hellish rebuke. Do you can react. So when somebody attacks you, you can do like a crazy amount of damage, like fire damage. I think I'll wait for now. How did you not become a mind flayer? Oh, so we just have to survive the trial. Oh, interesting. Okay. You can get 400 HP on a druid. That sounds pretty crazy. Uh, let's see. This is going to do Psychic Fire, Radiant Damage, Wrathful Smite, uh, Thunderous Smite. He's like in... Is he in the water? Oh, he is. Oh, so this one's a water elemental. Oh, let's try... Let's try this then. Okay. Sure. Kind of tanky, huh? So we can't. Oh, so when you're shocked, you can't use reactions. I see. Uh. I'm going to go ahead and uh, bless everybody. And I'm going to get you out of the water. Uh, if I turn on the Great Weapon Master, it lowers my chance of hitting, but we might do more damage. Yeah, 27, 28, yeah. Oh, I can attack again. I feel like out of all the classes, man, that sucks. I feel like uh, fighters to me seem crazy strong, but I could be wrong. Uh, ow. Fighters seem really good. Oh shit, we're still we're still fucking summoning more, huh? What are the water myrmidon? So they resist everything, uh resist to acid, opportunity attack, and permanently they can't be disarmed. Yikes. So if I if I leave, I'm gonna do that. Do Misty Escape. 
Oh, we actually, you know what? I could have used Misty Escape to get uh, to get him into the tunnel, couldn't I have? I just could have done that. A bolt of celestial light. Well, the problem with doing that right now is that I'm right next to this guy. I could do uh, disengage. Let's go ahead and disengage. And, uh, must have advantage. The fuck only knows how strong some of these guys are going to actually be. Uh, let's go ahead and shoot you, I guess. Not bad. Right. I would simply drink the water elemental. Uh, I am kind of tempted to try these. Let's just not for now. Seems like a pretty serious fight here. I may go, um... I may turn on, uh, Shadowheart's buzzsaw attack here. Okay, that was a solid mind blast. I'm on the ice. Uh, I'm gonna go fly next to this guy, I think. Okay. Ow. Yeah, dude, Mind Blast is real good. Yeah, it's real good. Don't. Uh, Danzo, thank you for the 23 months. Thank you, Danzo. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. No, not mirror image. Uh... Spirit Guardians. We still have to survive for a while. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and do it. That's fine. That was a lot of damage Shadowheart just spread out on everybody, dude. That was a lot of fucking damage he just spread out. Okay, here's the problem. If, can I, I, I can't, if I go forward and attack here, I think there's a chance I might slip. And I fucking hate that. Okay, at least I didn't slip. Fair enough. Uh, Shifty, thank you Love for the 13 months. Love to see how different the encounters are person to person. Yeesh. Uh, I like op opportunity spells. Nice. Like that a lot. Oh man, we just got more guys just keep showing up here, huh? Jeez. Oh, why can't I, uh, hide? Oh, I can't hide. Water remember done. Hmm. Uh, Shifty, thanks for the 13 months. Thank you, Danzo. Appreciate that. Is that enemy twerking? He's wiggling. Look at him go. Take a shot at the uh, air Myrmidon. Okay. 
And uh, now I can hide. Okay. That's uh, that mind blast is pretty good. That stunned like a whole bunch of guys. I don't know who's worse, the elementals or this guy. I guess like action economy, I should probably go after this guy, right? 55% chance. Isn't that even with bless? Even with bless, man. Call the weak is a really good move. Um, I was thinking about trying uh, repulsor. I don't think that's gonna do much. This is what the sh the Shar bitches were doing to me. That's what they were doing to me. I guess let's try. Wait, I don't have uh, I don't have that passive on, do I? Oh, I do. We're gonna turn that off. It actually, even with that, it doesn't really change that much. With a uh, great weapon master all in, it actually does. It's it's the same. Wow. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Hit this bitch with a hellish rebuke. Yeah, fuck you, bitch. Uh, HP is not great. Wait, wait, wait. Is that why Gabnon sucks? Because he has to hold the torch? Is that why? Do you have to hold it? So basically Gabnon is like worthless this fight? Oh, I didn't understand. Oh, okay. I didn't get that. Now I understand now. Yeah, I got you. Okay. I didn't understand. Now I do. Hmm. Uh, I guess I got electrocuted. Bonk. Now let's just hit him. Okay, never mind. Uh, let's go do a spell. Do a spell. I'm just waiting for Lazel to fucking slip on the ice. I'm just waiting for it. I know it's going to happen. Fuck it. Uh. Yeah, let's turn that off. 80% and you still missed. Okay, and no more spells for us, I guess. Miss! So if you're if you're wielding if you're like a two-handed weapon wielder and you go into this fight, like fuck you, I guess, right? <laughs> So, ah, uh, Asterion got fucking surrounded here. I could, like, Misty Step somewhere. I could also do Misty Escape. It's like I have multiple different things. Uh, why don't I go ahead and do, uh, Misty this? And, uh, see ya. I thought it said you were very easy. You were very hard to hit. <laughs> so much for that, I guess. You are so hard to hit during this. Nobody's ever going to hit you, dude.
Jeez, man. Uh, okay, did we kill that one? Oh, does that, re that does fly replace your normal jump? Is that what that? I didn't realize that. Bonking him with the torch. Can't give up. Fight. Let's go. Use that as normal movement. Uh, in true barb fashion, what I do, I have no mage. Well, it's not my fault. The the fu it's not my fault. The fucking bitch took uh, Gale. I knew she was gonna. I knew that was gonna happen for so long. I kept saying it. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen for so long. I'm surprised it didn't happen sooner. Okay, so we succeeded the trial. Um, why did you have to disarm me? It's kind of annoying. Okay. Uh, hey, Asterion, you can stop being a gas now. You can stop now. <laughs> okay. So I guess we're done here now. I guess we're done. Uh, is there a reason to destroy these? I think I can smash these. Uh, Here, go smash the crystal. See what happens. Has resistance to all... Oh, that would have been useful, I guess. Okay. Oh, he gassy. It's not a phase. Casters are super powerful. I mean, I believe you. I'm, I'm not doubting you. Uh, so I used all my short rests already. I suppose we should probably do a long rest here. No time to waste. We can probably wait and uh, let's go ahead and let's heal everybody. Go! We'll try waiting a little bit. Casters are amazing. I believe you. I believe you. I'm not. I don't. I don't doubt you that casters are good. I just uh, the only caster I had, the game kind of took him away from me, didn't they? Everything is powerful. The game balance is kind of whacked by Act 3. I definitely feel like the... I definitely feel like with this game... And this may be affected by Tactician. I'm not sure. I feel like the difficulty curve of the game is backwards. That the game starts off crazy hard. And gets, like, gradually easier. And there's been little bumps along the way. Like, little things have been more difficult. But I feel like the difficulty curve of the game is backwards. Like, it should be the other way around. Like, I should have been fighting these nerds who attack you once and do four or five damage in the beginning of the game. But in Act 1, it's like, here's ten Knoll Hunters that kill you in one turn. Like, it's crazy, honestly. And you have nothing you can do about that. It's ridiculous. A true champion knows justice and eliminates those who stand in its way. Restore the balance of justice. Restore the balance of Cleanse justice. The world of those who would stand in the way of the righteous, but do not let such cleansing prevent. Well, justice. yeah, it's because I have better gear and because I have better stuff. I, I I understand what I understand that. What I'm saying is that it seems weird to me. It seems very weird. Okay, so I'm not sure what to do here. Can I read this? The apple. The painting depicts a red-haired man stealing a shiny apple from a cart in an open-air market. You know this market, the Wide, where Baldur's Gate citizens and visitors gather to conduct trade and wax political. Okay. Let me, uh, save. Oh, Sneaky! Oh, poor Sneaky! Ah, oh, poor baby! The child, a red-haired man, is portrayed with his cloak's hood lowered, giving an apple to a smiling urchin. 
Several other children are huddled behind the one receiving the apple, hands outstretched. Oh, Snake is a big softy. He's the sweetest cat. So it looks like maybe this guy stole like a Robin Hood situation. The induction. Gosh. A red-haired man is depicted in hushed conversation with a dark-haired woman. She wears a cloak with an unusual symbol on it. Tally marks totaling the number nine. Go on, get out of here. Honey, what are you doing? Huh. You put your tail in my mouth. The theft. A red-haired man is depicted in the Hall of Wonders, thieving what looks to be a priceless artifact. So this guy was a thief who would steal from the... He would steal and give to the poor kids. He was recruited by a thief to steal something bigger, and he stole it or something. The chase. A red-haired man is depicted Jesus. running through the city streets, a flaming fist officer chasing just behind. Hey. A cloaked woman, hair <laughs> dark as a raven, looks on from a safe distance. Hey, let me read this one again. The chase. A red-haired man is depicted running through the city streets, a flaming fist officer chasing just behind. So he stole it. Hair dark as a raven, looks on from a safe distance. Uh, he stole it and he was caught, and he's running away. The guards are chasing him. Okay. Hey. Uh, read this, please. The judgment. A stern judge, his pockets full of coin, orders a red-haired man to the gallows. A shiny apple rests on the ground nearby. Okay, interesting. Say, I, you know, Snake, you've never laid on me like this before. Okay, so now what? Can I talk to the judge? I have something to ask. Or do I talk to the statue now? Those who would stand in the way of the righteous. Excuse me. Excuse me. Go on. Cleansing God damn justice. this cat. Uh, okay. So, like, my interpretation of this is it seemed like this guy was a thief and he was recruited to steal something, but it's almost like they, he was intentionally set up to get fucked here a little bit. What's this crystal? Oh, it's just a thing. But I don't know what else there is to do. Oh, hang on. There's like... No, the judge has spoken. There's more here. Hang on. I need to get rid of them somehow. So it says the shadows are blocking me. I need to get rid of it. Doesn't Shadowheart have a cast produce flame? Or like produce light or something? Did she attack it? By party time. Uh, you can attack it. I don't know if that's going to help me. <laughs> um, let's see. I thought I had like a produce light or something. Do I have that? Brute force incoming. Do I have like light. Yeah, her weapon has light on it. Yeah. I don't know if that has anything though. Uh, a flame that sheds a light in a nine millimeter, uh, nine meter radius. Okay, let's try light. Uh, apparently that's not enough light. Huh. Hmm. Uh, Ronnie D, thanks for 21 months. Thank you, Ronnie. Appreciate that. Iron bars flank a red hair thief counting the wretched days spent in activity. Oh, it like tells you what it is. The red hair thief tossed a hard earned coin in the air as he slinks post past flaming fist officers. None the wiser. News cuts the skin below a man's scarlet beard. He looks off with his stoic intent as city folk stare at him and an urchin weeps. Be gone. The soul of justice 
Hmm. Um. What if I hit it? What if I hit them all? <laughs> Does this do something? You are unjust. An eye for an eye. Lex Talionis. The punishment must be proportional to the crime. Oh. Okay. Fair. <laughs> you fucked it. Well, okay. I, I trust. I don't mind this fight. I don't think this fight would be that bad, honestly. I kind of want to figure it out. I want to figure it out. You can just like destroy everything. I want to figure it out. That's right. The square hole. Uh, thank you, Ronnie D for the reset. Really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Uh, hang on. Let's see. Hang on, let me turn this on for you guys. Ah, oh, there you go. So do I have anything that can actually do this? Radiant resistant, poison immunity, psychic immunity, necrotic. It says it's vulnerable to bludgeoning. Oh, wait a minute. Are we choosing what his punishment should be? Is that what this is? Shadows are blocking me. I need to get rid so this is... He should spend... Uh, let's see. So Iron Bar's Plank, a red-headed thief. A uh, red-headed thief ca uh, counting the wretched days spent in captivity. captivity. This is like he goes to jail. This answer is he goes free and this one is he dies. Tectivity, exactly. Now, how would I choose? Like, let's say like I, if I wanted him to go free, I don't know. So what happens if I attack this? I don't think attacking it is the answer. See, I'm looking at my scrolls here. Wood Papa Bart. Uh, Jutlin, thank you for the 19 months. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Thank you, dude. Do I have anything of light? Like light. I have scroll of blight, guiding light. Oh, if I put this on, I guess I can cast light. Okay, is this light? Well, I put light on it. It's got light and shadows, so apparently that did not work. <laughs> it's it's shrouded. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how to get rid of this then. Uh, let's see. Let me put back my ring. Uh, what was the ring I was wearing? Uh, you know what I should do? I should really be concentrating on a spell with Gabnon. That would add more damage, actually. I kind of like that instead, actually. Can I be blinded? Do I really have no rings for Lazel? I, I have no rings for her. I should buy some more rings, I think. I should buy some more rings. Well, so I see that these are, sh are shrouded, but I don't see how to get it the shroud off. Is it like remove curse or something? Does that work? I didn't know it was a curse. Freedom. A red-haired man walks the streets of Baldur's Gate, clad in a billowing cloak. You catch a glimpse of a sly smile beneath his head. I kind of wish it was, uh, it told you it was a curse. Okay. 
Uh, do I have to... Let's do this on all of these. The hanging. The hanging. A red-haired man is depicted hanging from a gallows as a crowd looks on. You notice a child in the crowd, a falling tear leaving a trail on his cheek. Okay, and one more. Let's see. The cell. A stern prison guard slides a warm meal into the thief's cell. The red-haired man has a ten-day left to serve, judging by the scratchings on the wall behind him. Okay. Mm. No, the judge has spoken. The crime must be punished. The the okay, so now what? <laughs> now what do I do? Cleanse the world of those who would. The waiting judgment. So wait, I have to like pick it up. The cell, the red haired man has it. Pick up. Oh, oh, okay, weird. Step forward. Okay, uh, latest. I choose that one. So I said he should be imprisoned. Is that correct? I don't know. Is that good? Huge gamer. I don't know. Is that I think that was right? <laughs> it seems like it was right. That was the right call. You would know if you fail. Oh, okay. I chose let him go free and you had to fight. I mean, it seemed to me that uh, he deserved to, he didn't deserve to die, but he also didn't deserve to go free either. So I, I feel like that that's what seemed like the most right thing to me. But, uh, you know, you just kind of choose what you can. Let's go ahead and take a long rest. I tried to talk to the statue. It didn't let me. Why is everybody glowing? <laughs> can I uh, go to bed or what do we got? Oh, okay. Go to bed. Changes after the judgment. Oh, okay. I'll take a look. Not very lib of you, Barb. What? Well, I mean, it's. I feel like it's one thing to uh, steal and help kids and stuff because you're trying to help them. I feel like it's something else when you got recruited by a gang to steal something more valuable for money. Like that's 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 something entirely different, right? I don't necessarily think he deserved to die for it. Yeah, I can't talk to the statue, I guess. Okay. Did I romance the demon girl? Uh, oh, like the really evil one? No, I probably would if I could, but I, I, I don't know how to do that. Oh, there's another door here. Let's go check out this door. I probably would, but... Oh, shit! Okay. You've made a grave mistake. Smash. Smash. Get not smash. Are we chessing? Chamber of strategy. Oh baby. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm sneaking by accident. Uh okay, can I oh let's talk to the statue. Prove your strategic wits. There is but one rule. The Dark King must fall in two moves. Are you a commander of armies or a shivering pawn? Fodder for cleverer minds. This puzzle is different to yours. Is it like a different chess puzzle depending on uh, depending on what you did? Okay, so. Uh, okay, that's their queen. So their queen, the king has to fall in two moves. King has to fall in two moves. 
Uh, all I have is a rook. I have nothing else. I can't move my rook. Wait, if I move my rook, aren't I putting myself in check? Oh, I, oh, this is my queen. Okay. So I can't move my, I can't move my rook. There, queen. Hmm. Interesting. I'd like to watch someone who doesn't play chess try this puzzle. Chess puzzles seem interesting to me. Okay, so if I move my queen here, if I move my queen here, he is blocked from these spaces. He can't go to any, he can't go here, 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 here. He has to go here. Or here. Actually, he can't go here. I he brute go forced here. the balls out of this one cackle. Uh, I think this is the first move. Does that forces him to go here? I think this is it. Okay. Uh, and now I think I move my queen here. And he can't take my queen. As the rook is covering, right? Is that it? That king has fallen. May you okay. crush the wicked. Be they pawn, knight. That was really easy. <laughs> that was really, really easy. Okie dokie. Easy, you should play chess. Uh I'm I'm I I actually really like chess, but I don't like uh being timed. I don't like being timed. That's it. I like to play chess like casually. Like sitting across a board with somebody. I don't like, you know, timer, hit the timer five minutes. For, like, I, I don't like that shit. I understand. Again, I understand that's the way chess is played. I totally get it. I just don't care for it much. It's like you're completely dominating somebody in chess. You've made every right move. It's like, you lose because of time. I win, Lamau. Like to me, it's just like so fucking weird. It's like, okay, I guess. Like, fine. I don't think I'm going to be playing chess with you anymore. Chamber of Insight. Uh, Pro Bird, thank you for the 29 months. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. We need to bring out the backseat chess. I like just theorize how much high level chess just memorization of games that have already been played. Uh, that's also By true, right? Counsel, as a war reaches its end, there is one who doesn't advise for the city's prosperity. Find him and strike him down. So one of these bitches is fucking shit up. Strike down the advisor who would lead the city to ruin. You know what would be interesting? Do they ever do they ever do this? I know chess is taken extremely seriously. Um and I, I I'm I think people have tried to come up with new kinds of chess like all the time, right? It'd be interesting to see a chess tournament with like pieces that are just like it's entirely different. You know what I mean? Like all the pieces have different things or maybe like the board is bigger with like more pieces, right? That'd be pretty cool, right? Imagine a chessboard with like, that's like double the size and it has, there's all kinds of new pieces on there. That'd be pretty sick, right? I'd like to see some shit like that. Very top of chess people play suboptimal lines to break up the opponent's prep. Isn't that a trading card game? Double the size and two kings. What if, uh, how about this? What if you play chess and you have to choose, like, let's say you have a choice of five different armies and depending on which army you chose, your pieces would be different. That would be interesting. <laughs> Watch go. That's just Warhammer. That exists in chess too. That's Age of Empires. Well, I mean, obviously it's not Age of Empires, right? What if the pieces have guns? Yeah, I mean, I, there's other board games that do that, right? You're just talking about a turn-based strategy game now? Asymmetric chess? I mean, like I said, I'm pretty sure that they've tried to come up with new kinds of chess, like, many times. Many, many times. Simpsons did it? I, I, yeah. You're describing Power World. Go fuck yourself. Five-Year War by Torwin Bassey. 
The war was, in truth, nothing short of a tragedy. It began as a mild altercation between the sanguine sons of the Alio and Vita families regarding, if you can believe it, the proper ownership of a sheep farm. Over the course of three seasons, full-blown conflict erupted between Baldur's Gate and Victon, a pointless war leaving both cities with about a thousand youthful corpses to show for it. Okay. This reminds me of, um... I don't, I don't know why I'm thinking about this, but Shogun 2, when, it, when you guys remember my last uh, Fall of the Samurai campaign? Uh... The, uh, the, the, fall, the Fall of the Samurai is a Shogun 2 campaign. It takes place during the Boshin War in Japanese history. I think in total, the amount of deaths in the Boshin War in Japanese history was something like six to 10,000. Not like maybe, not even, I don't think it was quite 10,000. Always hard to guess how many people died in a war, right? Especially in the, in the mid 19th century, right? In my in in my Shogun 2 campaign that took place during the exact same time period, I had like 500,000 deaths. <laughs> it was it was like the bloodiest war of all time. It was insane how many people died in that campaign. It was a massacre, dude. It was horrible. <laughs> it was funny. Like, well shit, man. Pile of books. A minor difference. That was also, there were so many geisha around. There were so many geisha, I could not keep any generals because all my generals kept getting got by geisha. I started watching at the gym, best decision ever. George, hello George. I got all the kitties here. Uh, a select collection of the most notable letters sent from Candlekeep. Uh, oh, hey, isn't Elminster the fucking dude that, that showed up? for us at one point. Over the past year, I've delivered many of your letters to Master Gorian. I want to be the one to deliver the sad news. The more Gorian is ward left candle keep. Uh, what, what is going on here? What's going on? Do I need to read this shit? As interesting as the random lore is, I'm not really putting it, I'm not really finding anything here. Past rise of a Ghani report concerning the Shadow Curse. Uh, landmarks are quite, uh, are sketched quite expertly. It's a geographical and salvageable. The curse's ambiguity makes it inscrutable as well as deadly. Share belief amongst our party that area would be dead in the imperative to avoid on Gandhi maps. Blah, blah, blah. Bullshit, bullshit. Okay, should I like talk to these guys? Let's go read this. Baldurin founds a city. Text roots is subject on Baldurin. Oh. Ah. Oh, Georgie. Oh. George, you got to scream for me today. You ready, George? You got to scream for me, huh? Two in one stream, the double, the double feature. He looks mad. He, yeah, he's not happy with it. <laughs> Rose is colorful, a little too self-satisfied around the edges. The novel will be unremarkable for one small entry about halfway through. Baldrin claimed a guardian and friend answer. Bright were answers scales and brighter still his breath. That's the dragon. At the betrayal, too piercing to recount here in worthy detail, answer fled beneath the stone, thereby changing the name of the region he now slumbers onto to match his draconic lineage. So someone betrayed someone. Either Baldrin betrayed answer or answer betrayed Baldrin somehow. Kind of seems like Baldr was the one that did it, right? Gabnon is Swiss cheese. Now, Gabnon ate a, uh, a Mind Flayer thing, and he's like half Mind Flayer at this point. All right, let's go see what these guys got to say. Oh. I just have to, like, kill? I have to leave one alive or something? Um, well, shit. Okay, what are their names? What are their names? Swelto, a maps instead. Swelto, a maps instead. Swelto, a maps instead. Okay, so there's like information in one of these books somewhere. There's a full and complete category of George the Gust Wrinkled Pale Arctic Dwarves. Okay, so this seems useless. So we're like looking for information here. Oh, there's a fucking flying book here. What the fuck? Hold still. 
Grab it. There we go. Uh, did I get it? Oh. I didn't realize that was a fucking book. Okay, who's got the book? Ah, uh, so this is a map. This part took you forever to figure out. Yeah, I, I, I thought that was like a graphical thing. I didn't realize that was actually a thing. <laughs> My life has been a long succession of pleasures. To see my town take to my ideas and cease legal discrimination of local orcs. To see my fights against horrid living conditions in my city factories take off. With a better chance to see a new generation take to these ideas of a better, kinder, fairer, intelligent world and run with, uh, run with it to new reaches of the continent. It was not a life without struggles, however, and I shall regret its failures. My old friend Swelto comes to mind to adopt such cruel ideologies later in life. I never console myself in the idea that such a brilliant mind would only, con would only conceive such theories under the strain of exile and of the promise of reinstatement as, as she ultimately was. So... She Suelto was exiled. And uh, that was a map. A map seems like, oh, I was so great. This is so dumb. There we go. This is so stupid. <laughs> Swalto's ethics of war. My colleague of maps proposes fair rules of engagement in times of war and forgiveness upon victory. Are we to spare our enemies then once they have fallen to our might? Are we to put all hatred behind us when surrender is offered? Indeed not. What shall we do once our opponent gathers new armies and mass them once again along our border? We shall wage another war and count the lives snuffed out by our own magnan magnanimity. Once an enemy kingdom is conquered, it must be raised to the ground. Only then can we be free of its specter. Okay. So, it seems like Suelto uh, is not in favor of being magnanimous to their enemies because it's just going to cause another war later on. Oh, look at this. The five-year war. War wasn't true, the only short strategy began as a mild altercation. So wait, so this is, this seems to imply that Swelto was a piece of shit, right? Because it was a minor altercation and then look what you fucking did. It became this full blown con conflict. But that kind of implies Swelto was a piece of shit. Let's see, what do we got? God damn it, it's so annoying. Tennis, get down here. <laughs> it's so stupid. Tennis, get down here. Can you freeze it? There's probably something you can do. God! Give me a break! Guess the Asterion became the vampire lord. He can't even get a fucking get book. Here. Get down here. Can I shoot it? Where is this fucking thing? I really wanted to see what that said. Let's load our game. That was a lot of that was a lot of blood from a book. <laughs> Why does the book have blood? Good question. Apparently, it's like the book is alive. Can't slow down. Okay, I really want to read this one. There we go.
It is quite obvious that larger kingdoms offer benefits to all people within. As a kingdom grows, so does its field, its populous economy. A few charred corpses is a worthy sacrifice. A dragon offers to share its hoard after all. So too should you seek union. Should a powerful kingdom march its army on your borders. Some friction is inevitable, of course. The right may road, for instance, but such lesser issues will sand it down by the march of time. Such is the price of peace. What am I supposed to take from this? Hmm. Yeah, we're trying to figure out what to do here. Seek union. So what? Like if, if a powerful kingdom shows up at your door, you should you should agree with it because you're going to lose some rights. But ultimately, it's going to be a benefit. Like, ultimately, it's going to benefit you to be a part of this big kingdom. And that's the price of peace. Okay. Interesting. Is it every time you click on it, is that a... Uh, is that another dice roll, basically? Is that how this, is that how this works? Rebel, kill the king. That's not how it works. Oh, you get one try each. Okay. I already read this one. Colleague, a match for fair rules of engagement in times of war and forgiveness. We despair our enemies once they have fallen to our might, put them to the sword. Indeed not. What should we do once our opponent gathers new armies and mass them once again? So she's like... She seems like she's afraid that another war is going to happen, therefore prevent the possibility of a future war by, like, killing everybody, right? Like, raise them to the ground or something. Okay, so we read that one already. If you fail at once... Oh, okay. Alio and Vita family. So we have to, like... Are we deciding who here is the bad one? Is that what we're deciding? Turn-based mode to catch a book. I, there we go. All right, we got them all. That was so much easier than last time. <laughs> I friend Suelta, who adopted such cruel ideologies later in life, I'll forever console myself that this such a brilliant mind when only conceives such series in the strain of exile. So this person was exiled and came up with this shit. Barb love, much love. I guess... So, I mean, Better get to it. I'm not sure. Uh, love a Heine, thank you for the 14 months. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. I'm not sure what to make of this. I mean, looking at these, it would seem like Suelto was bad. It seemed like Suelto was bad. But I feel like you can make an argument that any like without knowing that much, right? That seems like Swelto would be bad. We have these. Um But I mean, isn't there I feel like there is an argument to be made there, like, right? Like, I don't know. Cry, crush enemies now. Like if somebody if somebody is going to war with you, instead of being forgiving, crush them now so they can't come back like thirty years from now and do it all over again, right? Like uh, I think there is kind of an argument to be made there. I guess that's it. I decided differently and fail. I guess it depends. Right. I mean, you know, I don't know. Uh I gotta get up, chat. I gotta pee. I'll be back in one second. Be right back. The knowledge of hindsight. Uh, it's not yeah, it's not black and white, right? All right, hang on, I gotta pee. I'll be back in one second, guys. BRB. One sec.
All right. I'm back. Sorry, guys. Just had to pee. Oh, man. Let us continue. Yeah, I mean, like, it doesn't... I feel like there's some mitigating factors here, right? Like, like, what? how did the war begin? What were their goals of conquest? You know, I don't know. Also, like, when you're... If you're... You win the war, are we talking about killing every single person that lives in that country? Are we talking about, like, killing the leaders? I don't know. I think it kind of depends, right? But... Bad people are there. Good people put their pants on. It's not going well. They let the litter box fill itself. So I think it kind of depends, right? I feel like it depends on what was that. Wow, we got 5,000 experience for this? Jeez. <laughs> That's a lot of experience. Entrance. She said raise their villages. Is that, what, is that what she said? What are you talking about? It's like the game kind of presents you with like you have to make a moral judgment on who was like... They give you three people and they say which one was bad. And uh, there was one that's bad, but I feel like there's kind of an argument to be made there on who actually is right or wrong or not. So, uh, Tamako Distributor, thank you for the 14 months. Thank you very much. I think forgiveness and being kind to your enemies and stuff, uh, that's, that's an interesting idea, but it also, like, that's literally what Julius Caesar did, and he tried to forgive everybody. All right, you have two people, Julius Caesar and Augustus Caesar. Julius Caesar forgave and gave people positions, everybody who would like basically say like, I'm sorry, like uh, people like Brutus and Cassius, he'd be like, oh, you're okay. Well, we know what, we're friends now. We're all friends. Eventually what happened is that Julius Caesar was betrayed, assassinated, and another civil war happened that had, that caused tens of thousands of more deaths, right? Augustus Caesar uh, ordered prescriptions where he basically made a list of people in public to kill and he killed like, you know, enemies or just anybody who anybody who was standing against him. And Augustus had like a much like a peaceful like after the, he won the wars, you know, he had like a peaceful reign and, you know, uh, he reigned for a very long time. So, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know if it's necessarily black and white the way the game kind of paints it there a little bit. What right about you? I had no clue until till the narrator said, go kill X, Y, Z. Genghis Khan their asses. Puzzles are created by an in-game character with certain ideals. Yeah, I, I guess that makes sense too, right? With courage does the hero march. Fettered by the taxing chains of fear, a stalwart soul must ever persevere. With insight does the hero choose. Guidance born of ancient wisdom proven. Peace, not strife, the undenied conclusion. With justice does the hero rule. Lead not the guiltless lamb to bloody Sub slaughter. Tea no, cleanse the lion's sins in sacred water. With strategy does the hero scheme. A cunning mind, a hundred steps ahead. Your allies close, your rivals stunned in dread. Worthy you are found. Go forth, hero. Seize your fate and rise, great worm. You felt every one of these puzzles your first time. Uh, I got them all right. Sounds like a major skill issue on your part, Bone Storm. Let's uh, answer heart of the gate. Ooh, I wonder if you could talk to him. awfully crowded inside my fucking brain huh try to scream <laughs> uh t binks thank you for the gift sub thank you very much really appreciate that uh search your mind for what possesses it and so wends his way through your mind like an unstoppable river your body is unmoving yet thought flows effortlessly between you the spirit pauses you feel the astral prism stir 
Ansel senses the Emperor's presence within it. Answer me, Facey. Why have you come? Uh, I mean you no harm, let me go. I never shy away from a challenge. I'm beginning to ask the same question. I Can we explain to him? Like, I want to say, like, uh, I need your help. The brain, like, the mind flayers, Baldur's Gate is in danger. I never shy away from a challenge. A deep sigh resonates within you. The torrent stills, only disturbed by the dragon's next words. Brack. My words aren't meant for you. They're meant for him. Hmm. The Emperor stirs in the astral prison, and in you, calm, curious, and detached. Your presence has stirred me, as it ever did. It's been true. He called you Baldurin? A name I once answered to. A name I did not expect to hear again. Least of all from the mouth of an old friend. Friend. Yes. And more. Wait, what? Until you. Slaying me, not satisfaction enough. Satisfaction? No. You left me no choice. You had every choice. You were becoming illithid. I offered you merciful death. You chose to fight. And now you bring your thrall before me. How far has the great Baldurin fallen? So wait. The, the we thought the emperor was like a, like he was a hero like that was like you know he was like a dude he's literally Baldurin the guy that like made the city is that actually him huh it's the biggest plot twist in the game wow this is tiresome I want my reward <laughs> I mean he really left that shit out answer the question mind flayer you owe it to both of us i am no thrall yeah answer the question the stillness ansur's consciousness hovers just above yours searching seeing dear answer enough i gave you everything Bolaran, and you repaid me in slaughter it is time I return the favor. Let my bones rise and the storms gather. Uh, Witness Baldurin. The final tempest has come. Uh oh. <laughs> I am the heart of the gate. I am the one who roars. This time you will not escape it. Wasn't he supposed to help us? Oh shit. <laughs> Ansur, Heart of the Gate, level 17. Holy shit. Why does he have fucking bullshit here, too? And where the fuck is the goddamn... Where the hell is the Emperor to help us out? What the fuck? Uh, I guess I should save. Because uh, I don't want to go through all the dialogue options again. Emperor is like, all right, good luck on this shit. Have fun. Let me look at him real fast. Uh, legendary resistance. Immune to lightning. Immune to necrotic. Immune to poison. You could try shooting with one of these uh, arcane interference damages uh, things too. Do that. Give him a crit. I did not know that was going to happen. Nothing important is ever easy. 
easy. Um, we've got a 60% chance. So wait, does he just like react on that every time? It's not like against an attacker with his breath weapon. Oh, so he can attack every once per round. He can do that shit. Okay, I see. I understand now. Well, alrighty. That means he can't do it again. He, we know he resists that. Um. Well. Uh, this is gonna be hard. Why does he have little shit heads here too, man? It's quite the boss. Yeah, this uh, this might be rough, man. We're already getting fucking wrecked here. Jeez, man, like fucking machine gun. I fucking hate ice so goddamn much in this game. I hate ice so fucking much. I hate it. I really truly hate it. So they won't know what bit them. Uh, I think if we break these crystals, it gives us resistance. I should perhaps do that. I wonder if this is worth the cost. And perhaps do that. Of course, we've got these fucking Myrmidon bitches here too, right? How many of these guys are there? All right, let's try to take this on. Yeah, maybe I should do that. Uh, we are in very rough shape. Okay, that one's dead. Erased. Uh, let's go ahead and do second wind. And uh, let's try to get rid of this water myrmidon here. Okay, missed. Okay. Okay, Shadow Heart is in really rough shape. Let me uh, drink this potion. And uh, let's see, so he's down to 400 something HP. Your wounds. Uh, mass cure runes heals you and nearby allies. We are in, uh, so wait, so I, this, I can cast this on three people. It's a big heal, like a level five spell. Uh, I don't want to use my level five spell. Let's hang on to that. Uh, I would like to possibly cure myself here. Okay. Holy shit. So like, I feel like in this fight, we got to like spread out because we're getting hit by everything a lot. Really got to spread the fuck out. Hmm. 
Okay, let's uh, try to sneak attack you. Okay, so he's dead. That's nice. The subtle. And we'll keep you here. Come on, can't stay idle. One day I'll catch a break. Uh, let's see. Not possibly knocks enemy prone. There's no way we're gonna knock this fucking guy prone. I could also do a. I could try a mind blast on him. It might stun him. I think that that. I don't know. If that's considered incapacitation or not. Oh, that's considered incapacitation. I guess try to blind him with darkness. That's one hundred percent. Let's try it. So he's blinded. Okay. Lazel is kind of fucked. Uh, she's in a lot of she. Let's. Yeah, she's hurt. Okay, she just gained crystal skin. Uh, we have resistance to all elemental damage here. I don't really have a lot I can do here. Um, I think I'm too far. I can't hit you. I guess I have to do some range shit then. Kind of sucks. Trip attack's not going to work. Uh, menacing attack, disarming attack doesn't work. I guess I can try menacing attack. I have bad odds. I may as well. Yeah. Okay. Okay, uh, let's see. So, uh, let's just do a mass healing word. About as good as I can do. And, uh... Alright, let's do the mass cure wounds. How are you, uh... Oh... Is that considered that he's in darkness or something? Why why is he out of range? You have to be like really close or something? You have to be really close. The dragon doesn't have blind sight. Hmm. He's obscure. Yeah, I think it's like something stupid like that. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. I could try Blessing, too. Yeah, I don't really like any of my options here. Uh, Ward and Ally, resist damage. Resistant to all damage, gain plus one. Not enough movement. I can't, like, do anything here, pretty much. Protection. You can't move for shit. I don't think we're gonna be able to break this in one hit either. Uh, I could throw an alchemist fire at him. <laughs> That's gonna suck. I don't know why I have so many. Explodes on impact. These things are, uh, you know, why not? Yeah, let's do it. Better get to it. Okay. Yeah. Effective. I don't have advantage. I, I don't really know what I could try to escape with a Sterion. Uh, I wonder, does this mean I'm like guaranteed to get this? This is a, a spell here. Let's go ahead and do blur. 
And let's attack him. Okay, I think that like that got that got his attack like out of the way, so it's not gonna like damage us for the rest of our shit now. So I think that was actually pretty good. Here's what sucks, dude. I can't like he keeps running the fuck away. He keeps running the fuck away, man. Uh Yurizo, thank you very much for the 70 months. Thank you very much. Yeah, I know, but I can't fly. It says not enough resources movement speed. I can only fly here. So I, I, you're like, I can't fly. I can't do that. Is that a Draco lich? Yeah, it's like half. Right, right. That's my point. Uh, I don't know if he's like immune to fire. Is he immune to fire? Conic magic. I can't tell if he's immune to fire. I was going to do the piercing ray. He's prioritizing his target. Is that what he's doing? I was going to try this. Might be just his resistances. Right, I'm going to try it. I want to see if it does anything. Okay. Well, we hit him a little bit. No, I'm trying to select. Oh, it's not Shadow Edge's turn. Okay, can I actually reach him? I really want Lazel to fucking hit him. Why is he an invalid target? Can I not do Soul Breaker? Does he not have a soul? Undead, no soul. I, I think is it wouldn't he be all soul at this point? All right, let's hit him with the uh, menacing attack. He's immune to frightened. Fair enough. I think I can't knock him down either. So he's got no weapons. So let's just keep wailing on him, I guess. But he'd be all soul. The zombie. Well, if you're a zombie, like, would he be all soul? I, I don't fucking know, dude. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, just keep wailing on him. Hmm. Hmm. I haven't tried Guardian of Faith. I wonder how that is. Hmm. I'm mixing this up with Ghost Rider. I feel like a zombie could be theoretically either no soul or all soul, depending on like, I, I don't know, whatever. And guiding bolts, no. Turn undead, I could try turn undead. It's not like a lot of, it's not a lot of chance on that. Uh, resistance. What do we have? We, we all have this like temporary bless. Well, I don't want to do this because I think I would hit Asterion with the Sunbeam if he was. Uh, I think he's like around there. Uh, two of us are pretty fucking dinged up for sure. Go use this potion. And. Um, go uh, cure Lazel. Take care of your okay, good enough. This guy's an asshole. Uh, I think he's immune to poison, too. How do I, uh, 
how do I not have advantage versus you? I can't, like, hide? Yeah, he hits hard. Is there a reason why I can't hide here? Am I crazy? I don't know. It seems weird. Looking for a DDR. I was trying to uh, do cunning action hide. You can check its condition. Uh, how do you... I, I don't know how to do that. Yeah, I wanted to do the uh, the super... I think it's a bug. A bug? Is it the concentration? I don't know why. Click another character and click back. I can try that, I guess. Okay, um, so we know he's immune to poison. Oil of combustion. Yeah, poison's not gonna work on this guy. Well, I think we just run at him and hit him with Gabnon. You've made a great mistake. And we missed. And that did no damage. <laughs> and we missed again. Wow. Great job, Gabnon. Awesome stuff. Oh, now it's working. Now it's working. Bolt of Celestial Light. Let's try that. We already know, like, nothing fucking works on this bitch, right? Okay, hacking him down. Uh, Annihilatrix, thank you for the two months. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. when I got flame strike. I feel like I'm just like barely keeping my characters alive at this point. Um Oh wow. Can you cast it even though, uh, you, so this only casts, I have two extra targets. Can I just cast it? Oh, that's if you finish selection. Okay. Wow. Uh, all right. Take your, your nice. I hope this bitch doesn't fucking knock me off the cliff. Um, that's bad. Break them. Wait, do we silence him? Does that not count? <laughs> Doesn't count. Can we like, uh, so like, what is he about to do? Because it tell us anything. I guess whatever he's about to do, I guess it doesn't count. Um, well,
I mean, where the fuck am I going? I don't, I don't know where the hell. Where am I supposed to go with Gabnon? Keep saying can't find a path. Can't find a path. Uh, should I sprint? I think I should sprint and like run. Bro, I, I'm like, fuck. <laughs> okay, so if I use the get Yankee psionics, I can jump like way the fuck out of here. I could also use like dimension door maybe and move me and Lazel out of here. I could also like misty step. Here, I'm gonna misty step Lazel out of here and I'm gonna hit this and gain this, like, crystal skin. Not shocked I missed that. Okay, now uh, I can dimension door with her. Dimension door? I'm not really surprised I missed. What a waste of a level four spell slot, huh? Okay, let's get her the fuck out of here. All right, what's gonna happen? Find some cover? What do you mean, find cover? It was a fucking nuclear bomb. What do you mean, find cover? They won't know Is that a joke? Oh, find some cover. From fucking what? Let's go. I don't know how you find cover from that. How do I still have disadvantage against you? Hysterion did okay. I, I don't understand what I'm supposed to do in that situation. Well, so much for peace. Uh, can I lay on hands? Uh, here, lay my hands on myself, I guess. Ay, ay, ay. Everyone, everybody lives, but man, is he gonna do that shit again? Okay, so I think lightning is going to hit here, so we have to fucking get the hell out of dodge. I don't think we're winning this, this fight. I think we're gonna have to try this shit again. I don't think we won this. I think this is like kind of over. On my way. Mm, can't use reactions. I'm shocked. Take two. Yeah, I don't know, man. All right, now what? Jeez, like, ah, oh man, this is brutal. This is really brutal, man. It's not over until it's over. Yeah, I mean, my cat is yelling for some reason. You're broken. Okay, at least, at least it didn't like summon more shitheads, right? So I can't, I can't reach him to shoot him. Um, hmm. Can heal myself again. Man. Uh, sure. 
with a big heel. Uh, I don't know, dude. This is good. Uh, I don't think I can really like reach him. I don't think there's. I, I want to shoot him, obviously, but I don't think I can shoot him. I don't think I have a good way to reach him. I guess I could uh, use dash and get a little closer. If I used uh, dash. Still can't reach him, man. Really? Yeah, I'm playing on tactician. Uh, since I don't have that. Here. I don't think silencing is doing anything. 23, and he says we're related, Barb. Uh, is cute. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. He's down to, he's past half health. It says, oh, it says he is silenced for one more turn, I guess. Uh, all right, Lazel, get in there, I guess. Some nice fucking damage, Lazel. Really fucking nice damage. Bro, how, in what universe am I going to ever survive that? Yeah, I've been missing a lot. All right. Your soul is in good hands. Give me a crit. Give me a divine smite three. Ooh. One fourteen. Divine smite two. So that means I can't help her. She's dead. Is that what that means? She's just dead. Oh, no, it's just being weird. Hang on. Reflective shell. I wonder if that would work against the lightning. I wonder if that would work. Oh god. Is he doing this shit again? Legendary action draconic wrath. I mean, he's got 77 HP left. I guess I could, I wonder if Mind Blast would potentially, uh, 
Would Mind Blast potentially do it? I wonder. Would potentially stun him. Fifty-two damage. Boy, imagine if Asterion wasn't dead. Uh, I mean, he's got fifty-two HP left. I, I don't know if there's anything I can really do here. Is there anything I can fucking even do here right now? I don't think so, man. If I could get Lazel over there somehow, like Lazel might be able to do the 52 damage with her attacks. Any big scrolls? I mean, probably. Uh, what are our odds of surviving this? <laughs> um. Is this, is this going to reach him? Did that do two fucking damage? Are you serious? Two? Sunbeam did two damage? You know, when he says take cover, what, what exactly does that mean? Um, I'm not even sure Lazel can do anything. Like Lazel can't do it. What if I like? Can I get behind this with Lazel? Would that protect me? <laughs> uh, all right. What is the what is the best thing I can do? A level three divine smite. Bro, let's go! Holy shit! Oh, how much damage did that do? Getting on the fucking champ. Holy crap, man. First try. Check the combat log. I'm really curious how yeah. much that did. Ooh, man. That was fucking rough, man. Holy shit. The clutch. Uh, what are birds? Thank you for the 500 bits. Thank you very much. Fucking A, man. That was wild. That was hard as... F Dude, that, that was fucking hard as shit, man. <laughs> That was fucking hard. Asterion's like, ah, oh, I have become the ultimate vampire. And now he's fucking dead in a ditch somewhere. <laughs> he's like, I don't, man, yeah. you really weren't all that strong, were you? <laughs> weren't all that strong. Uh, so it's true, you're Baldurin? I was. Now, I am much, much more. But it seems you are more interested in my uh yuki griff thank you for the 500 bits thank you water birds for the 500 bits really appreciate that so wait so we're, this is this is really interesting right so man after all the shit we've been through the emperor and i 
he's still not telling me everything. Like, he only tells you... He only tells you what he thinks you need to know. Like, he never tells you everything. He's always, like, drip-feeding us information, right? Uh, and apparently he also killed or betrayed his last dragon friend. Uh, I want to know everything there is to know about you. It's like I always told you. I was just like you. An adventurer who yearned for greatness. And in mortal terms, I achieved it. As captain of the Wandering Eye, I acquired enough gold to But it was not enough. I grew restless again. The sea cooled to me. And I ran to her with open arms. Life at sea was not easy. Our last Canoli, thanks for five dollars. My ship was destroyed. My crew lost. But my spirit was far from broken. I kind of want to see what he looks like. I was determined to return in triumph once again. I heard of treasure in Moonrise. I strove to find it. What I found was an illithid colony where I acquired a tadpole much like yours and became a mind flayer enthralled to the Elder Brain. It was Ansor who found me. Ansor who pulled me from the Brain's domination. Ansor who brought he me He left that shit out too. He sought to cure me of my sickness. Called on every healer Oh, that's he what he looks find. like. I don't know. That's not. That's not it. Never mind. In the attempt. That's the healer. But he failed to understand. I wanted no healing. I was not sick. You're definitely sick. Answer, Stelmane. Do your allies always die? So you killed him. Even after he had exhausted all possibility of reversing my condition. He still clung to hope. I tried to convince him of my reality. I was on the cusp of greatness beyond my wildest dreams. But all he could see was a mind flayer. He came to me as I slept. A mercy killing in his mind. Aww. I saw the tears. I felt his grief. I had no choice but to kill him first. It was an act of self-preservation. Is being an illithid really worth the loss of a friend? Put simply, yes. And being alive even more so. Do not think that I am ignorant of what I have lost. I may not regret my actions, but I do regret that they were necessary. While the past is beyond my influence, the present is not. It is time we move on. Two nether stones remain in the hands of the Chosen. We must find them before we confront the brain. Uh, this happened before when I killed the boss. Baldurin's Giant Slayer. Holy shit. Dear Answer. Uh, dear Answer, I've said a thousand times to say it again. There is no cure, and that's all right. I'm fine, more than fine. I'm better than I've ever been. So why torch stuff like this? Of course, I know why. Uh, so this has got to be from uh, our our brain boy. Uh, it's the evil within. Attack the brain. Remember Yal Tengri? You and I sailed together for months seeking the Great Spire. By the time we found it, we were sick as dogs. You never left my side, not for a moment, even though you could have simply chosen to fly. You told me there was something about experiencing it with me. Through my eyes, you wanted to share my passion and my adventure. It was, you said, a privilege. The truth is, the privilege was mine. If the greatest thing that ever happened to me, Answer, never had to ask you for anything, but I'm asking you not to stop. Uh, I may no longer feel my feelings, but I know yours and yours are agony. It doesn't have to be this way. Be free, fly. Even if I'm not beside you, I will always have been your Baldurin. Hmm. So I guess, uh, I guess ultimately the question about the Emperor is... 
the question about the Emperor... God. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the Emperor anymore. You know what I mean? All these things we've, like, learned about him. Um... I don't have a revive dead here, right? There's a, there's a Sterion. Can I revive you? I think I have scrolls, at least. I don't know how I feel about the Emperor, honestly. Kind of feel like I am... Uh, let's see, was it Revivify? I feel like I'm just another on... In the list, you know? Hang on. Uh, here, you can come back. Having a blast playing Heal Helldivers me, with you. chat. <laughs> Thanks for getting everyone interested in it. Uh, can and somebody, chat, uh, those free help? Codes in Discord. Uh, help her up. Uh, hey, thanks so much, Wayward, for the 37 months. I really appreciate that. Uh, yeah, dude, it sincerely bums me out that the game just doesn't work for me anymore. It really bums me out. All right, well, uh, rest and rest. Uh, that was a rough-ass fight. That was a rough one. Yeah, yeah, I'm not done looking around here. I'm sure there's something else. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure how to feel about the Emperor at this point. To what extent is the Emperor Mind Flayer that we know? To what extent is he the Baldurin who once existed, right? Like, how much control did he retain? He also killed, like, I think, I can't remember exactly how the Emperor put it. When he's, I think at the beginning, it's really, it's really interesting that the Emperor, when he first describes how he escaped the brain, he just said, like, I managed to escape the brain. He doesn't mention, like, my friend saved me, right? Like, he doesn't mention that. Like, oh yeah, my friend, like, super duper saved my ass. Like, he leaves that the shit out. Tempest and his roar hurtle through you. Ansu's essence still lives within the hell, instilling you with power for as long as you wear it. Great Helm of Legends. Uh, Lazel is inspired. Okay, what is the helm we just got? Helmet heals you two hit points at the beginning of every turn. What the fuck? We can't be stunned. Wow. This is a really good helmet. Hmm. Hard fight means great loot. I don't know who to give this to. Maybe Gabnon? What's my current helmet? Oh, we have the helmet of grit for an extra bonus action on this. Um, kind of like this on Gabnon. All right. Oop. Wow, it looks really dorky. <laughs> it looks really dorky. <laughs> like a total knob. I am bouldering. Uh, anything else around here? I wonder if you could cast Speak to the Dead on this. Uh, speak. I don't think I have that anymore. I was wondering if I, I wonder if I could talk to this thing, right? That'd be really interesting. Um, does anybody have Speak with the Dead? I haven't. I don't have any scrolls of it. Who's my favorite character so far? Uh, I really like Asterion, although I feel like I made him like a giant douchebag. Usually dead don't want to speak with your killer. Not usually if you kill it. Yeah, I kind of wish I had. I don't know if I have a speak with the dead. Sh That's does Shadow Art have speak with the dead? It's a level three spell. Um, ah. So if I turn off do this. Uh, it says I can't target undead with speak with the dead. So he was already dead. You can't, he's like double dead now. You can speak with the undead, but you can't speak with the dead dead. So. Yeah, I'm playing on PS5. It's just, it's just absolutely not working for me anymore. So I suppose we're done here. Oh, wait, wait, you target yourself with it? Is that it? Oh, okay. He's double dead. 
No, no, you don't. You have to. You target the thing. No, you're wrong. You're gonna. The take will take. Uh, the fix will take a few days. Uh, if they acknowledge that, like, like the thing is broken and then they're working on it, like, okay, I guess it's a little disappointing, but it kind of feels like they're they're not. I, I, it's the way I got the impression that this is just something that's only affecting me or something. I don't know. Okay, where the fuck are we? Because we cannot fast travel from this area. Okay. Yeah, I know you can uh, hide the stuff. Oh, this is where we came from. Right, right. Hey, why is this? Uh, oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, there released two patches already that are working on. Yeah, I mean, you know, if, if it takes a day, then so be it. It's just, it's a pretty, uh, that's a pretty fucking big issue that, uh, the game just doesn't load. That's a pretty fucking serious thing. Uh, how the hell did I get back in here anyway? Uh, was it like here? It's here, right? Yeah, I mean, it's one thing if, like, oh, the game crashes once in a while. Like, no, the game does not load under any circumstances, and it's fucked. That's pretty bad, man. That's pretty bad. Yeah, it was a crack in the wall. That's, that's like, another... That's got to be one of the most... I think that's got to be one of the most serious bugs I've seen in a long time. This takes me back outside the prison. Yeah, that's a bad one. Uh, we probably need a long rest. Let's go take a long rest here. Yeah, let's go do that. Yeah, we're talking about hell divers. Yeah. I, I still don't understand why it does this. Somebody want to talk to me? Nobody wants to talk to me. Fair enough. Bugs one, I think so. Okay, and leave camp. The toggle key to make them glow. I'm not. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. So this is uh, aura of protection on all my allies, right? Uh, okay. So we came down here, and uh, I'm not really sure what we're doing next in terms of the quest. The dragon was not able to help us at all. We also found out some more shit about the the emperor. I feel more and more so like the emperor and I are like incidental allies and that if the if the moment came like he would absolutely kill us in a heartbeat just like he did his other allies, right? So like not not the friend like sure we had sex but like, you know, whatever. Right, I'm currently useful, and if he ever decided I was not useful, that would be the end for me. Right, he's very self-motivated. The writing is amazing. It was a quickie. He defended himself against Answer. Well, like, Answer was probably the person who knew him best. Yes? Like, they were, like, they, apparently they were, like, super good friends slash lovers. And according to Ansir, like, he's not himself anymore, and he's now this Mind Flayer monster. Now, you know, I guess, like, the, the question is, to what extent are you still yourself? To what extent is he still Baldurin at all, right? I don't know. He attacked him in his sleep. I mean, but yeah, he did that, but wasn't he right to be like, he has to do this because that's the only way he's going to kill him because he's already so powerful, right? It still, it didn't work anyway. He's still so, he's still so strong. He killed him. Did you find this out on Springer? What would you do if Lazel wanted to kill you for coming a mind flare? Well, our situation is different because we're not in control. Um... What's his fuck is still in control, right? So, huh? So, dude, if we could make ourselves smaller, oh, there's like another way into the prison from here. <laughs> if we could turn ourselves small, okay, on another way in. 
It's so cool how there's so many ways into everything. Baldurin said to answer he was in control too. Well, I guess like the equivalent would be like, we're still, if anybody's in control here, it's the emperor, right? Because he's been controlling us. We've been his puppet the entire time, basically, right? So who is, nobody is pulling the emperor's strings. Once he was freed of the brain, nobody is pulling his strings, right? He's completely making his own decisions at that point. Yeah, he called me a thrall, right? Yeah, exactly. So are we a thrall? Are we a thrall? If we're doing everything the Emperor says and we're, we're, we've are we're been relying on him and we need him for everything, we kind of are, right? Aren't we? I did, I did pull his tentacles, right? Is this the end game area? I mean, I don't know. I've just been doing quests and shit, so... Uh, I don't really know what other quests I have. We still have to kill Gortash and the other, the crazy chick. Yeah, Orin, right, right. Okay, can I Bardio. bash my way in? Boom, bitch. Uh, I think there are a lot of people here who want to kill me. Uh, Colin, thank you for the sub. Really appreciate that. Thank you, Colin. There are a lot of people here who want to kill me. Why would I lockpick when I can chop? Um... <laughs> Uh, up there, please. Uh, I think Shadowheart and Asterion need uppies. Hmm. So where are we? Where are we actually going in this fortress, anyway? Defeat Gortash. So it looks like Gortash is like up top this castle. Hmm. How many of these scrolls of Dimension Door do I have? I'm tired of, I don't want to use my like spells. Okay. What's to do? Uh, we're not, uh, we're not grouped up for some reason. Okay, more dead robots. So I think we are pretty close to Gortash. Are you guys, can you guys really can't, you can definitely make this job. Come on guys. Go with the program here. Pick potions that increase your jump range. I don't remember what they're called. Is that blood? No, never mind. Okay, perception failed. Never wanted the easy path. It's kind of trap. Did you explore the robot warehouse? I mean, yeah, I killed the boss in there. Like, I think I did. I mean, I maybe I, for all I know, I might have missed something, but I, I think I did everything there. The torches. Wahoo potions. Hmm? Robot fa Yeah, we blew up the robot factory. Uh, let's see. There's uh, some traps over here. Someone there. Saren, you want to disarm this, please? You think you can try? What you got? Sure. A little guidance here, too. Where's Cat? Cat left. Do I still have the cam on? Oh, I still have the cam on. I'm sorry. My bad. No time to rest. Okay, one Don't down. A step. So not all, it seems like not a lot around here, huh? I guess ever since the, uh, oh, ever since the, we killed all the robots, I guess everything here is kind of gone, huh? Okay. You have plus 13 without guidance for a 10 roll. Do I look like I care? 
Thank you for Barb Suffer. O'Brien is back. O'Brien is back. Arrow of Darkness, Arrow of Lightning. Uh, is there... There's a chest up top here. Big number better. I thought I saw it for a second. Come on, I want to see what's in this chest. Damn you. Nobody gets shit on like in Star Trek like O'Brien. Do these steel watchers even have anything? I guess that's all like infernal iron. Uh I don't I think infernal iron, there was something you could do with it, but I think I fucked it up somehow. <laughs> I think there might have been something you could have done with it. I find it weird you can't use all the rope. You think rope would be pretty useful in this game, right? Uh, I guess we're just going in. Oh, shit. Damn. Double damage to monstrosities. Interesting. Lots of really cool arrows here. Fucking A. Uh, Timid Turtle, thank you for the and bombs and shit. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, Timid Turtle, thank you for the resub. Thank you very much. Greatly appreciate that. Thank you, dude. more traps i think rope being useful is too i mean yeah i mean theoretically you could have done everything with rope like i, I want to roll to use the rope to climb down this cliff like then the whole game is broken right so this is uh what's in here okay game just saved you know the other thing that the emperor was saying wasn't the emperor saying that he was a mind flayer and he's also served whoever was ruling uh, the city, right? Baldur's Gate. He said he was ruling the whole city and uh, he was helping behind the scenes. He kind of seems like a fucking power nut to me, doesn't he? Like, like all power, 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 power. He kind of seemed that way. And like, he can't rule openly as a mind flayer because people wouldn't reject him, but he's behind the scenes, right? Like, even, even he still is going for power. He seems kind of like a power-obsessed character, right? Politician, mind flayer. If he seems like that. Uh, let's see, Steel Watcher. I think the game just saved. Oh, there's Gortash. Hey, dude. How's it been? We could have been allies. Powerful ones. And yet... Your actions sparked the fall of my steel watch. Whatever bargain we might have made fell with it. Uh, I did what I had to do. I have no regrets. Is that what you... The brain awakens. It's time I take matters into my own hands. We could have moved mountains. We could have shaken the plains. And you chose imperfection. I think I will hang your corpse in the wide. The Archduke's would-be assassin. The people will celebrate your fall and my part in it. Your bones will be a souvenir of what could have been. Now, roll over and die. Give up your life just as easily as you are ready to give up the stones. Okay. It's killing time. Uh, Archduke nominee. I thought he already became the Archduke. He's got legendary resistance. He's got a crossbow. Uh, crossbow point. Is he like a crossbow guy? He can't be disarmed. Interesting, interesting. He's got 357. Why can't I have 357 HP? Uh, what are these things? Incineration casters? Is the whole room, bro, the whole room is blow, is rigged to blow. Hang on. What are these things? Sturdy, uh, they are piercing resistant. 
Uh, they are vulnerable to bludgeoning. So these things seem really bad. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, sure, sure. have here topple the big folk uh, oh so this is like a really good ability uh so this is like a really good ability on a bigger a, a large huge or gargantuan okay so that's not gonna work here i can go giant form i don't know if that's necessary right now Okay, let's run in there and let's hit him with Gabnon, right? Ugh, time for some bloody work. Give him a crit. Give him a big crit. Whoop his ass. Are you going to die this fast? <laughs> okay, uh... I think this thing is about to chuck a grenade at me. Can I, uh, back the fuck up? Time to strike. Only hit that deals at least 10 damage can damage it. Holy shit. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Oh, there's another one up here. Uh, let's do Soul Breaker. Rip attack. Another episode of Barb and Explosives. best bet is here i think like a lot of stuff's gonna miss him 45 percent on that six so i don't know why why does divine i swear to god why does sacred flame is, why is it like the worst spell of all time throw a fireball at him like actually the worst spell of all time uh what's up gruntiatus Oof. Uh, that hurt a lot, actually. That was a big damage on, on that guy, huh? Damn. Can I move or take actions, bonus actions, or reactions? Okay, so he can't do shit. God damn. Bro, what the fuck? What the fuck? Holy shit. Good lord. He's got 150 HP. Uh, okay, hang on. So we've got Topple the Big Folk, and guess who just became a big folk, huh? Try that shit, right? Uh, 
Uh, I guess that didn't work. He's juicing. Uh, level three divine smite. Whatever all that shit was, man, that shit hurt. Ow. Uh, no, I think not. Okay, um, let's see. We are all, like, really fucked up. We could do the big heal. This is the big one. Mass cure wounds. Uh, let's go Lazel. What? Oh, did I just... I don't think I chose Lazel, did I? Yeah. Did I? Hang on, I think, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, stop. I think I might have just chosen to heal Gortash. I think I might have. <laughs> I think I did. I'm really glad I didn't fucking do that shit. Okay, we're all blessed. Well, I can do this too. A lot of fucking damage, dude. You guys are some heavy hitters in here, man. Some really fucking heavy hitters. Is he like uh, Daze or something? He's, not, he's only got like 50 something HP left, but I need to actually get a chance. Uh oh, the uh, grenade is about. To oh, okay. All right, we dodged that one. This guy is going fucking ape shit. What the fuck? Holy shit. <laughs> this guy is going ape shit. Trying to fucking stay alive here, man. Uh, Beat Not, thank you for the sub. Appreciate that. Thank you, Beat Not. Uh, thank you for 42 months. Asterion hasn't been able to do shit for the longest time. bitches we have left to kill here huh we've got iron console low this guy is like about to die here let's okay and why don't we let's eat this guy's ass okay Was that a hundred? Did, did I read that right? Was that a hundred and ninety-two damage? No. I'm, yeah, I think I must have read that wrong. Hmm. 
What is all this bullshit? <laughs> I don't even understand what happened in all that. Like, that entire fucking situation. I don't even understand any... I don't understand anything that just happened. We won, but... Uh, oh, there's Shadowheart. Yeah, we won. GG. All right, that's well, that's one down, I guess. Uh, revivify. Can you uh, can you buy more scrolls of revivify? Can you buy those? Yeah, well, I'm gonna loot him, asshole. I'm gonna loot him. Okay, that was a a rough fight. That was definitely a rough fight. Uh, let's see. A fabricated arbalest. It does illuminating shot. It's pretty cool. Clothe, cloth of authority. You can't be frightened. You can't be afflicted. Uh, let's see. Tyrannical jack boots. <laughs> Those boots are so tyrannical. Some uh, optimizer. What is this? Gortash's key. A note from Helsing. That's right, get you to the House of Hope for the right price, of course, though I doubt they'd be happy to see you. You didn't exactly leave on the best of terms wherever you know your business better than I or anyone else. So that's where the game was telling me to go, the House of Hope, right? Netherstone studded gauntlets. Uh, your unarmed attacks deal an additional one to four force damage. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it'd be good for a monk, right? It is the way and the truth. Absolute. Leave them alone. The screech quiets, the howl fades. Your mind is hollow, save one lone voice. Bane's chosen has fallen. His netherstone is yours. You have done well. Uh, what just happened? You heard the Elder Brain. It's regaining its autonomy. It cries not from pain, but exaltation. We must stop it before it breaks free. One Netherstone remains. Orin's. We must find her and take it from her. After that, we take control of the Brain. You should start wondering what you will do then. I will become the absolute myself. Oh, I'll decide when we get there. Sometimes you surprise me with your wisdom. <laughs> really? Is that? <laughs> I'll figure it out. Mace plus two. Um. Okay. Anybody else for us to loot here? Iron console low and black gauntlet. That was, was that supposed to be sarcastic. Spear plus one. Uh, I wanted to loot uh, iron console low. Okay, it seems like not much else. There's got to be some other loot here, right? Hmm? That's a problem for future Gabnon. Opulent chest. Sept ser servitor of the black hand. Your unarmed attacks. This is all like a bunch of unarmed damage stuff, which is interesting. Uh, let's see. Arrows. There's another smoke powder arrow. Okay. That's a good day's worth of spells. Studies of the elder brain. Next steps. Uh, what are next steps? Let's take a look. I want to read this. Yeah. Read. From the standpoint of control of the mass, the Elebrain's rate of tadpole viviparry, if viviparry is disappointing. There will never be enough larvae to tadpole all the citizens of Baldur's Gate or even the majority. The alternative approach to Passman City is two pronged. We take control of the municipal executive functions from the top down, leveraging fear of the asshole to get me appointed Baldur's Gate Archduke. So they already did that, right? 
A program of selective tadpoling of key individuals as larvae become available until all the city's power centers are effectively under our my control. Through the success of the scheme, we should be able to spare a nursery or two of tadpoles to begin the same process in Om. Let's interview my southern agents to determine who will be best to execute this plan. So basically, this is all his plan of pure fucking taking over the world. Taking over the world, basically. I will take all your... I'm going to take his grapes. There's like a weird shelf behind here. You see that? <laughs> Got another chest. Uh, Mind Flayer Parasite. Uh, you cannot be forcibly moved by a foe's spells. You ignore the effects of difficult terrain. That's kind of nice. Hell crawler. Uh, accelerated grand design. We there yet? Well, we killed Gortash. We got to kill the Lord of Murder, the Chick of Murder. I feel like Gortash was no like I. That fight happened so fast. For one thing, I feel like uh, the guy in Act Two was a lot cooler. The the guy who becomes like the giant Death Lord boss. I feel like that was a lot cooler. But, I mean, it was alright. He died. It ha everything happened so fast in here. As top leaders in the Bainite hierarchy to effectively implement one of the mad Alhu known as Blue Apex named... It's important that you... What? Our dominant elder brain lays illithid tadpoles that induce... So that's where the tadpoles come from, from the illithid, from the, from the elder brain. From psychic minions of the hive mind of the elder brain, which they perceive as a goddess, a deity of conquest called the Absolute. See, to me, this sound, doesn't this sound like exactly what's happened to me, right? So we're not transformed into a mind flayer. We're tadpole and became psychic minions of the hive mind. They perceive as a goddess, a deity called Absolute. That sounds like exactly like what the emperor has done to us, right? We perceived him as a goddess, you know? Well, basic man's the chosen of the dead three, needless to say, as Bane. So like, so like, w which, which... Uh, mind flayer brain are we going with right one or the other seem like both kind of seems almost similar there's a stuffed bear we're thralls there's, there's definitely some parallels there for sure right so what does this say uh oh wait i didn't take his i didn't take his thing How did I miss it? It's not the amethyst, right? Did you like drop it on the floor or something? Am I missing it? <laughs> I don't see it. Oh, I did. Oh, okay. Because the quest thing is still saying here. Okay. It was in the. Oh, okay. Got you. Um. Alrighty. Uh, now what? <laughs> Did we tell everybody he's dead? We killed him? How did I even get up here? Uh, hang on. Let's see. What does the, what does our journal say? Oren will have another note for us at camp after low. Okay, so Oren's gonna tell us something, right? So we can do that, I guess. This is also like the personal quest. We can do that too. Hmm. Okay. House of Hope. I don't know what that is. You keep you keep saying it. You can keep saying it all you want. I still don't know what that is. I'm trying to do the quest. I'm trying to do everything I can. Calm, calm your titties. Relax. I'm not skipping stuff. Uh, should I like go to camp? Take a long rest. I'm gonna go to camp. We need a long rest anyway, right? Okay, there's the note from uh, Kudos on the murder of Gortash. You have done well, Underling. Baldur's Gate gags on Gortash's gall, and your little pet still has eyes to witness it. Now, to do proper honor to the murder lord, you must submit yourself to a trial in the murder tribunal. Remember, Sicarius. See there, you may find me in Baal's temple deep below the tyrant's rotted cobbles. Murder lord, I will keep your minions safe until then, unless it misbehaves. Okay. 
We killed Gortash, please. She bids us uh, bring his hand, proof of our slaughter, before the murder tribunal. Do we take his hand? Or do I have to go get his hand? Okay, so now she wants us to go to, like, the murder tribunal. Okay. Are we good to rest, or does somebody want to talk? I can fix her. Yeah, she's kind of bad. She's, like, really bad. Testicles. Gab non sleep. Gag on Gaul Temple. Oh, man. Mm. Okay. So, leave camp. And I still have to figure out my way out of here. A banana hammock gets you every time. Uh, let me go see. Uh, I want to go check on this corpse to see if I can go. I, can I actually chop off his hand or not? I'm not sure, actually. Does she literally want me to bring his hand? <laughs> let's go. Let's go find out, I guess. Poor Karlak missed Gortash die. Oh, that's true. I forgot. Maybe I should have brought Karlak around. I forgot that she had some kind of story thing. Forgot about that. Oh, well. One gives you bonus when you're drunk. Okay, so now, now, what the fuck am I doing anyway? Oh, we do have Gortash's hand. Oh, okay. What does illuminating shot do? Uh, fire shooting bolt that inflicts one turn of radiating damage upon. So it's like some kind of weird. It like lights them up or something. It does good damage. I mean, the crossbow doesn't even really matter, honestly. It really doesn't. We very rarely use the crossbow anyway. Um, let's go give you the infernal. I'm trying to get some room. Some uh, undead bane. Make you carry some of this shit. I still have gold bars and shit. Way too much stuff in my inventory. Yeah, yeah. Let me look at the map here. Investigate the clown, Rivington. Uh, take Carl. Oh, wait. Take Carlac? Hang on. Can we go to camp real fast? Go to camp. Hang on. Let's put, uh, we're going to put a Asterion away and take out Carlac. Apparently something may happen if we do that. Where's, uh, where's Asteria? Oh, uh, Will wants to talk. Oh, okay. That was my and gold so bar. Kurazuma! There will be no great tempest roaring through the skies. No dragon redeemer to save us. Jack Dangles takes 29 hey, months. Hey, Karlak, you want to see a dead body? Without the great worm's aid, is the city doomed to fall? Thank you, Jack. You braved the worm's lair, seeking a savior. Yet it was you, all of you, who vanquished the undead abomination, which I'm sure became. You are more powerful than you understand. It is you who are the Tempest. It is you who are the heart of the gate. You're right. We are the warriors who will slay the Absolute. We are the guardians who will defend this fair city. It would have been nice to have a dragon on our side. Perhaps. But we will still smite the brain and still be hailed as champions. I could even claim my father's own ducal title and carry his banner after this. Grand Duke Will Ravenguard, Marshal of the Flaming Fist, the city's truest defender. They said the people would welcome a devil as a Grand Duke. I fear your lust for power gets the better of you. You're a hero, not a politician. Uh, imagine the good you can do as a Grand Duke has always been your destiny. Follow your heart. I trust you make the right decision. I fought to right the wrongs of the coast, to slay the monsters that hunt the helpless. What good is a champion who puts himself above the people? What good am I as a politician just out of reach? There will be no Grand Duke Will Ravenguard, and there will be no Blade of Frontiers. I am now the Blade of Avernus. For as long as demons and devils imperil the Sword Coast, they will be my prey. 
Hail the blade of Avernus. Shuttles I be. The elder brain is a menace, but with the blade of Avernus at your side. Who's Avernus again? You know you will <laughs> Who's Avernus? Okay. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Uh, hey, Astera, I need you to stay back for a while. So, the blade of frontiers is dead. Uh, QB Bob, thanks for 500 bits. Thank you very much. As a platform for stories in the past. I just what are your thoughts on this story? Battling infernal forces. The undead have it hard enough already. I think it's better if you stay here and camp for a while. Oh, darling, I'm hurt. Does he always I say this? Uh, QB Bob, thanks for 500 bits. Appreciate that. Yeah, please just stay I here. Guess I'll spend my evenings lounging here while you do the hard work. It sounds awful. Okay. Uh, let's go get Carlac. Oh, Carlac. Everybody, everybody wants to fucking talk all of a sudden. Uh, thank you, QB Bob, for the if 500 bits. It, really appreciate that. I need to see the body with my own two eyes. I need to know it's over. We're taking you right now. Uh, hang on. The Blade of Avernus. I can't think of a better man than Will to take up the title. It's about time someone stood up to the evil fox populating the hells. Uh, come on, we're heading out. All right. <laughs> you just gained 24,000 EXP. Uh, you've been critical of video games as a platform for stories in the past. What are your thoughts? No, I think that that's a misrepresentation of my thoughts. My thoughts on... I, I'm not critical of video games as a medium for storytelling. My point of view is that in the grand scheme of storytelling, we have like novels, poems, uh, television shows, movies, that video games are a relatively speaking new form of media. Like they've only been around for like, like story driven video games have only been around for like what, 25, 30 years or so. And my point of view is that it's still developing and it's still trying to figure out what it wants to be. Like they've already, oh, absolutely. I would never argue. Of course, there's been really great stories in video games. But I think that in some ways, some video games try too hard to be movies. Some video games are not interested whatsoever in telling stories. And I still, th I still feel like it still is like, be like the medium is still being shaped every, every game, every year, like every five years, like it's going to continue to change as time goes on. So I still feel like I, I want to say it's like, like if novels are like, uh, the elder statesmen of the storytelling world, like they've been around for four or 500 years or whatever. Video games are like the five-year-old kid. You know what I mean? Like you wouldn't say the five-year-old kid is, oh, well, that's what you're going to be forever. Like, I think like 20 years from now, 30 years from now, 50 years from now, video game, like a video game is still around. They're still popular, which I don't see why they wouldn't be. They'd just be different. Uh, the stories in them might be told completely differently. So... That's, that's my point of view. My point of view is that it's a very new medium and that there, there's still a lot of time for them to change into something different. That's my point. This is a case where chat asks if cereal is considered soup. I like Mario's story. There's a point where novels are just poems, movies, just film plays. Well, I mean, when novels were first, when novels first began, they were like epistolary, which meant that they were, you would read a book and they, the book took the form of letters. It was a lever a letter from one character to another, and that was the entire novel. And then the, the novel form developed from that. So maybe we'll look back on video games from like the early 2000s or something, and we'll say like, man, this was like what video game stories used to be like, and now they're this totally different thing. You know what I mean? So I, I, I personally think that as video game stories, like a lot of video game stories are, no matter what you do, uh, the story is going to happen one way. Like, one thing is going to happen. And personally, what I believe is that as, as video games continue to develop, I think that your choices and what you do in the game will have a huge impact on the way that story plays out. So in some ways, I think more video games will have stories like either like Baldur's Gate or Knights of Republic, where it isn't like this is the one thing that can happen. It will be more reflective of your choices that you make in the gameplay. And... Uh, like you're going to have a lot more control to affect the story because I mean, otherwise it's like, I, and I think there will always be games where only one thing can happen. That sort of thing. Like, and I kind of like that idea. Actually, I think that that's pretty cool. 
you can just uh, choose to play. I mean, there's obviously also games that have no story at all, and it's just play the game, right? I couldn't tell you what the story of Helldivers is. It's just like kill bugs. <laughs> like, I don't fucking know what the story is. And that's fine too. There's also like books out there that, uh, there are books out there that like the story is kind of minimal, right? Like, who cares? It's just like action scenes and that sort of thing, right? It's hard to write an infinite number of stories that are all good compared to one. Well, in some ways, I think Baldur's Gate's really interesting in that sense because I feel like the way things have played out... And press 1 in the chat if you played this game and the way things have happened for me was very different from the way things happened for you. I think that that's, uh, that's already happened with Baldur's Gate, right? Yeah, exactly. I don't know how many people ran up here and fucking whooped Gortash's ass like this. <laughs> All right. There's the corpse, Carlac. You wanted to see it. Hey, soldier. I killed him. Tell me you didn't take on Gortash. Not without me. You wouldn't have. Uh. It happened faster than I realized. That's actually true. Oh, I can't believe this. You knew what this meant to me. Well, you should have anyway. <sighs> At least take me to see the body. I have to see it. I have to look at him one more time. It's the least you could do. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so Gortash is nothing more than a pile of flesh. Same as the rest of us. Uh, you can sense she's working something out. Say nothing. Uh, Raptor's Attic, thank you for the gift sub. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. I, I honestly forgot she cared that much. I honestly forgot. <laughs> uh, so we're with you on this, especially games trying too much to be movies. I love JRPGs in general, even with lots of cutscenes. You have to like earn your cutscene, if that makes sense. Or or something like, like Kojima. Like Kojima is like the poster child of like, my video game is not a video game, it's a movie, right? Like sit down, watch as Norman Reedus talks about God knows what for 45 minutes and you know like you're not doing anything there's no input from you and and you know the story is incomprehensible right and like more and more actors more and more celebrities are in there right and it's and I mean some people and, and I think any number of people might find that really compelling and some people will find it disengaging you know like I don't know like the less I'm playing probably the less engaged I am so just like this meeting could have been an email the games are this game could have been a movie yeah right oh yeah and that's that's what he likes he literally says like it's almost like he, he it's almost like he just really wants to make movies and not actually make video games sometimes you know but the video game is there because it has to be when like the movie is actually the main attraction right cutscenes were a mistake earn your cuts you mean like a miyazaki phase two a lot of triple a game studios want so badly to be part of hollywood it feels pathetic yeah, I think, uh, you know, I, I think, like I said, I still think video games will, as time goes on, there'll be more games that push the medium. Like, the medium still has to be defined as to what video game stories can be. And uh, I think that, I think that we see it all the time. You know, like, choose your own adventure, visual novels, Baldur's Gate, Knights of the Republic. And, uh, you know, I, I think that we're going to have a lot of different kinds of video game stories in the future. And I hope we have more games like Baldur's Gate where the player input, like what you do, the choices you make determine what happens, uh, you know, within, I, I guess, you know, within certain confines, I guess. But, uh, you know, I, I hope we have more like that. Uh, some games try to be too hard to be, end up being cringe with stories. Um, you know, I don't know. The more I play Elden Ring, the more I like the story. The longest movie ever, no one tells that man no or stop. Ugh, the Last of Us 2 was awful. You can sense she's working something out. Say nothing. I feel like there should be a sunset for me to ride off into. Or an orchestral swell or something. But there's nothing, is there? I killed the bastard who ruined my life, and my prize is that I get to crawl into a corner and die. Uh, actually, I killed him. Am I fucking missing something? Life isn't yeah. fair. Get used to it. What What do you mean? It makes no sense. None of it means anything. I think Game in Future will have more microtransaction in Booba Bar Gabnon. He's dead. 
and he's no fucking sorrier now than he was before. Do we explain why is Carlac so angry at Gortash? I'm still dying. I'm dying. I'm going to die. If we can fix your still fix your engine, stabilize it. I don't want you to die. You're not dead yet. He sold her to hell? He sold her? I must have missed that. <laughs> it's just like I must have missed that plot point somewhere. I don't know why. He's the main villain of her story. I must have missed that plot point. I was I was off like looking away, like gabbing on. Yeah, I was like, wait, what? I'm, I, I don't know. I must have missed it. It was 60 hours ago. Corso, thank you for the 500 bits. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Um, maybe we can still fix your engine. Got a miracle in your back pocket you forgot to tell me about. I'm going to be as dead as a Gortash any day now. Any moment. And what then? I missed one plot point. Off to the city of judgment to waste into oblivion. Into the dirt to get eaten by maggots? Is that it for me? Is that fucking all? And you, you'll just keep going, won't you? Watching the stars, warming your hands on the campfire, dancing, eating, making fucking love all night. All of it, all of it. That's my reward for everything I suffered. That's why I survived 10 years of torment. The fighting, the clawing, the loneliness. <laughs> Fucking loneliness, all of it, so I could rot. Because the person I trusted the most gave me away to the devil. <laughs> it isn't fair. <laughs> I don't want it like this. <laughs> Uh, it is what it is. <laughs> it's time to soldier forward. Let it out. I don't want to die. I want to live. I didn't betray her. I want to I, for stay. I forgot about her. <laughs> what the fuck am I supposed to do now? I don't know, but whatever it is, I think we're meant to do it together. Let's get out of here. I've always hated this place. Stupid fucking gigantic bridge or whatever. I think I need to go to camp for a while. Be alone. Scream at the sky. You can come and find me later if you want to. Thanks for listening. For existing. Aww. Love you. Oh, is she like, is she like done now? Is she just like, yeah, I'm, I'm leaving. <laughs> is she like done? Everybody, everybody want uh, now. All, I must be getting close to the game because now everybody wants to fucking chat all the time. Hey, soldier, you're back. Still soldier? I don't know what you've been through, huh? Uh, are you alright? Old habits. Did I miss anything while I was off having a sulk? Uh, villains rose, heroes fell, the apocalypse drew nearer. Hmm, nothing out of the ordinary then. You know, soldier, we're so fucked. The Dark Three are trying to consume the Sword Coast. We've still got <laughs> our eyes, and I've got a ticking time bomb in my Sound chest. doctor, thank you for 41 months. I'm not sure anyone has ever been more fucked than this. And yet, we're fine. In this moment, we're fine. Here I am. There you are. She just admitted she loves me. I feel like it was more like a uh, love you, man. Not I'm like uh, I love you. You know, like a little different. Is it very precious to say that despite it all, I'm happy if you're happy i'm happy 
In that case, something I wanted to ask you. Will you stay with me? And it's time for me to go. Are you going to like actually explode? Even die. Aww. Of course, I'll be there, Carlac. Whatever you want. Joanna, forty-three, love. Now, enough tragedy. I'm not gone yet, and our schedule is packed with important heroics, isn't it? Joanna McCoy, Plus thank you for the forty-four months. Thank you very much. Motor oil. Thanks for everything, soldier. I'm extremely glad to be in this thing together. Ah, uh, is she coming back with me? Or do I do I? I guess I can take her around. I I, I kind of want to see if she's gonna explode. <laughs> Uh, all right. Hey, soldier. Wow, oh, we're heading out. Hell yes. Oh, you know, kaboom. God, everybody wants to fucking talk all of a sudden. You know what? Fine. What does Will have to say now? Will's got more shit to say. Go ahead. The blade of Avernus. And He's still talking about how awesome he is. Man. Bro, I've the never used you as a character ever. <laughs> Courage, insight, <laughs> strategy justice literally never used you abide them, but to become them ah but enough reflection for today i'm of a mind to celebrate a hearty meal would do the trick a few hunks of fresh venison a round of brown ale what do you say yeah i'll leave you to it we still got an elder brain to deal with of course but we need nourishment don't we we can't go beating up brains on empty stomachs. I miss you Dale. Meat, I'll scrounge up the air. Prepare your belly for a roast a la blade. Leave. <laughs> what are your plans as the blade once the brain is defeated? I scout both the hells and the coast's havens. And I destroy every fiend that dares put its I miss on Dale. Fenrir. Will takes a sharp breath. He's keeping something from you. There's more to your plans. Hmm. Yes, there is. I will be hunting Mazora. I won't let her claim one more soul, slay one more victim. I'm going to make my Isn't way to she the hell standing to right behind him? Right off her damn head. <laughs> Isn't she right behind him? Uh, are you sure you're ready? Uh, once we deal with the brain, Mazora will take your powers. My father trained me in the sword and the bow. They'll have to sustain me. Uh, you destroy her. She doesn't deserve any better. Damn right. I'll cut her to ribbons before she can so much as groan Zariel's name. Okay. Uh, hey, Mizora. <laughs> the blade of Avernus. <laughs> How marvelous. It rose right off the tongue. Tell me, little bug, who should Will's first target be? Hmm... Or in the red. The mad assassin herself. Where's Gale? Strike her down. Uh, Fear, thank you for the nine months. Thank you, Fear. The brain won't be too far beyond. But what about the next battle? And the next? How mighty will the stalwart blade be without warlock powers to help him? Tell me you haven't forgotten. Once the absolute is no more. So is my aim. I, I don't care. Well, perhaps I might pay a visit once he's settled. Offer some advice. A bit of infernal altruism, if you will. Ah, the thrill of the unknown. I can't wait to see how this epic plays out. <laughs> uh, bye. I wonder how you, uh, I wonder how you bone her anyway. Uh, no, 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 uh, leave camp. Leave camp. I wonder how you do that. Movie night with the old lady. What should you watch? Uh, what are you guys in the mood for? Okay. Well, I suppose we're leaving double doors. Is this like another... Wait, what's over here? Yeah! Oh, it's just another way out. 
Um. Okay. So I, this is how we came up here. Okay, I guess we're just going right back down. Horror or comedy? Double doors are expensive. Every time I catch a Baldur's Gate stream, I am thoroughly amused. I'm glad you're so amused. This is a one and done if you see yourself playing this again. Uh, I would definitely play this game again. Uh, apparently it's going to hurt me. I would definitely play this game again for sure. You know, can I just use the map here? Can I just warp somewhere? Now let's warp here. That we'll all be together. That door was it was locked. Bullshit. It was locked. Uh, yeah, I'll just fast travel out of here, I guess. Um, okay, so. The murder tribunal. So I don't know where this is. Show you on the map. Wasn't it uh, the Undercity Basilisk Gate? Was that it? Is that it? The Dark Urge playthrough is different and memorable enough to be worth it. Yeah, I'm probably not going to do it anytime soon. Probably not anytime soon. But I would definitely like to play Baldur's Gate again for sure. Could be something. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if I'll ever have time to play a game casually ever again. But uh, if I ever did, maybe, I don't know, maybe something like that. I wonder how this game is on the Steam Deck. I wonder how it is on the Steam Deck. Slave. Joy. Help me help you. Reciprocation. Watchers ignore you. Foundry. Neutralized. Witnesses eliminated. You walk free. You one task. Kill Orin. Kill Orin. Kill Orin. Kill Orin. Uh, interesting. I wonder if is it would be really interesting if the Elder Brain also was a character. And we could like find out what's going on with that. It's weird. It seems like uh, both, both uh, everybody wants us to kill Orin for whatever reason. Everybody wants us to kill Orin. It's interesting. Even the Elder Brain wants us to kill Orin apparently. Okay, so we're trying to go to the. This is where the gate was, right? Under City Ruins. All right, I have the hand. You gonna open? What? What do I fucking do then? Urasuma! I have the fucking hand. What more do you need? Uh, something way over there. 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 Over city sewers. So, like, we're going east now? Uh, Bay 82, thank you for the 26 months. Thank you very much. There's like something over here and up. Go to Candle Hallow's Tombstone. Uh, can I go east from here? Oh, yeah, I'm not looking for the answer. Uh, Bay 82, thanks so much for the 26 months. Thank you very much. Yeah, I mean, I definitely like the uh, Gortash more than Orin. Orin's, uh, I think. They uh they went a little far with Orin's character. She's a little hard to uh, a bit hard to stomach. But I think that's kind of the point, I guess. It's kind of the point. Uh Gage says I can't get there. Well fuck, dude. Hmm. I don't know what to do. <laughs> uh, I 
It's all Oren's thing. Back to the overworld? Back to the overworld? Go that way? That way? I think that putting Ketherick first made the other two fights very weak. Uh, I'd say that so far, Ketherick was way cooler than uh, Gortash was for sure. Can I go uh, south from here? Coming over here. Uh, I might have missed a lot of parts with her. Yeah, she's the doppelganger woman, right? Uh, no, that takes us back there. I'm a little confused on what to do right now. Mm, I'm not sure what to do. I'm trying to figure out how to get to Oren. Uh, I have a I have a million things I could sell. Uh, Rich T, thank you for the 12 months. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Hmm. Is there anything on the map? See, like the, the thing is, like here they they have the quest, but they don't tell you where it is. Oh wait, is that it? Oh, hang on. Did we just find it. Okay, so it's like directly north of us. Okay, north. No, that just tells us the, that's the sewer we just came from, right? Isn't that the sewer we just came from? Okay, maybe, maybe this is what I'm looking for. Go to Kendall Hallow's Tombstones. Something over here. I just realized the more incessant you are about the house, I hope to let I yeah, just leave me alone about it. I'm I'm not skipping stuff, I'm not rushing stuff, I'm just playing the game. Don't don't fucking bother me. I'm I'm going as fast as I can. I'm just I'm just doing things as they occur to me naturally, that's all. Ah, here we go. Candle Hallows Tombstones. Stop wasting my time. <laughs> Boom, bitch! Is he vandalizing someone else's property. Now would be a good time to justify your actions. Try to talk my way out of it. No need to go causing a fuss over a little accident, is there? There we go. One of these has got to work. Sure, there we go. <laughs> is this still a perfect playthrough? All of my playthroughs are perfect playthroughs. There we go. Whoops, uh, my sword slipped. They believe you, for now. But something tells you they won't be so receptive to your charms again. Okay. Kendall Hollow's tombstone. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Why wasn't I doing that to every door in the game? I should be like, uh... It, it, it's like, uh, what's it called? Uh, Ghost of Tsushima, where you smash your way through every paper door. <laughs> I should have been doing that the whole time. Here we go again. Ah! All right. Oh, I don't have a Sterion with me. Fuck. Lockpick? Wait, nothing is working. Hello? Game? I can't move. I'm ready. Whatever it takes. Got to press on. Am I like stuck in the wall? All right, Gabnon has clipped into the wall and he can't move. <laughs> Can I smash the bookcase and fix it? There we go. Okay, I fixed it. Uh, Lockpick. Sure, try that. There we go. I got hell died. Brute force saves the day. Need to go deeper. Okay, what's in the chest? 
Keeping up appearances. Clerk Dravage. Remember, you are in the business of making candle house tombs look like a genuine retail establishment. Keep all the price about half again. Too high, so you don't sell very much inventory. Think of the shop as a stage rather than an actual ongoing, an actual going concern. Okay. Uh, seekers. You see the tribunal at death be your guy for what is beautiful. What is behind death but murder? Uh, what? Like another puzzle here? Oh. Let death be your guide. What is behind death but murder? Let death be your guide. What does that mean? So there's coffins here. Okay, now Lazel got stuck. <laughs> uh, table. A fine selection of tongs. The one indispensable tool of the artisan's workshop, it seems. Tongs. So many tongs. Felt like maybe there'd be something in a casket. Uh, there's some food inside this casket. Okay, like food. Tombstone. Alexander Rainforest. Meticulous in life. Mellifluous in death. Okay. So what did the thing say? I mean, let me take a look here. More death. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, tombstone. This tombstone still bears the dust from its recent engraving. Vare Vantham Pro. Unwanted in life. Hmm. Welcomed in death. Casket food. Uh, the superior, the superior durability of hardwood. <laughs> okay. Okay. Think about death and murder. Can you kill one of your own allies? I don't think they would make you do that. I mean, it kind of, maybe there's something behind this bookcase. Looks like there. Look at it. Kind of looks like there would be, right? Hmm. Yeah, the bookcase is very sus. There's a painting on the wall here. Butterfly on a skull. Asshole. <laughs> the locked door has red text on it, reading, "All are waited." All are embraced. None shall escape. Uh, speak the passphrase, Sicarius. Oh, okay. I guess we had the passphrase. Ballist Crypt. Um... Wonder how the Orphic hammer would be. I don't know. Maybe I, should, I was thinking about giving somebody else. I have all this, like all these extra weapons. Let me just spread out some of this weight a little bit. I, you know, I honestly miss a Sterion. I kind of want him back. Has Carol like been carrying around this chest forever? She's been opening this. She's had this like forever. Uh, sure. Try to lockpick this one too. Aw, I what I I like I like having. Uh, I feel like I already have a tank a little bit. Uh, cross fortune. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. Thank you for the five gift subs. Oh, that's pretty cool. The flesh melter. Oh, that's cool. Uh, hang on. Cloak. Oh. Cape. Uh, thank you very much, Cross Fortune. I really appreciate that cape. Uh, what, what was my other cloak? What was it called? I had another one. Oh, is it in the chest? Uh, oh. 
Oh, okay. I was going to put this on a uh, shadow heart. I guess. Okay. Uh, how many partners did my character fuck? Um, we fucked the Mind Flayer and we fucked uh, uh, Lazel. Are the people we fucked. Okay, let's go ahead and save. I do really miss Asterion. I like having Asterion more than Karlak, I think. But we'll, we'll, we'll go with Karlak for a little while. Apparently, she's going to explode soon anyway. <laughs> so... Metal shield. Am I still carrying the chest? I thought I hit drop. There you go. Parchment. Flaming fists this way. Is that to like kill them or something? Fucks lizards and squids. <laughs> I don't think I have uh I don't think I have any more capes and cloaks. I don't think I have any more. I wonder if it may, maybe there's some for sale. I could have like maybe been more, more diligent checking shops. I don't think Lazel has ever had a cape actually. Let's okay. see. Ah! <laughs> okay, well odds are we're gonna kill these guys, right? Present me well from gifts thine own, or I shall rend thy flesh from bone. Mm. I killed to be here and took the victim's hand as proof. A grasping hand, an offering vile. Enter now the dread lord's trial. These guys are cool. Death Knights. All right. Presenteth. What is my character's sexual preference? Lizards and squids, apparently. The Murder Tribunal. This looks like one of those arenas where they start you off and you're surrounded right off the bat. This looks like. You gaze upon murder's progeny, child. His most ill-trusted zealot. Yeti, thank you for the 54 months. Thank you again, Cross Fortune, for five gift subs. Thank you so much. Appreciate that, guys. Hope you guys are having a good weekend. Each returns to do his bidding eternally. This man is known to all Baldurians, and his presence sparks dread in the pit of your stomach. Before you is Saravok Anchev. A bar list who almost brought Baldur's Gate to ruin a century ago. This is the court of the Dread Lord's Tribunal. I am its custodian. His voice. Here come those who seek to transcend. Aspirants of his most profane order. The would-be unholy assassins of Baal. Uh, Oren sent me here to be baptized by Baal. What must I do? How are you still alive? A long while ago, my wretched sibling bought me back. The fairest of Baal spawn soul bound me to this husk. Worship death though I do, I refused it. I roamed the coast, gathering those who still held Baal in their black hearts the cult survived festering beneath the city with me as the gates everlasting poison but no more for poison is too slow a death now is the time for slaughter with these killings the glory of the balis has risen beyond what we dreamed possible during those dark days but the worship of my lord is led by another now. My granddaughter, Arin. The youngest assassin ever. Bretman, thank you for the 36 months. Thank you very much. Trail. And his chosen. Orin is your granddaughter? 
my very blood, and by extension, his. Baal has never had a more gifted prodigy. Aaron's gift surpassed even her mother's. Her mother knew this, and she could not bear it. When Aaron was but seven years old, she tried to smother the child as an offering to our Lord. I heard the screams. I ran to help. I feared for the child's life. But the cries were not Aaron's. It was her mother's blood that soaked the sheets. Aaron had cut off the very hand that tried to end her and made a plaything of it. And as she toyed with her dead mother's hand, a deep quiver rose up through her throat. The Lord of murder speaking through the child. Lay not a finger on this child, he said, nor let any other, for this child will serve me with unholy ardor. Protect her in my name. Hmm. Did you know that your daughter was planning to kill Orin? Your granddaughter killed your daughter. Your family sounds deeply disturbed. I can see why Ball chose Orin. Should have killed Orin for what she did. Did you know that your daughter was planning to kill Orin? I knew of my daughter's ambitions, but not the lengths to which she'd go. She hungered for Baal's favor more than anyone I'd ever known. But her daughter, Arin, hungered even more. My lord made his choice. I abided by and his words. guy talk all day. But Arin is not the subject of our judgment here today. You wish to become an unholy assassin of Baal. So... Approach. I'm really glad and my uh, oath is already judged. broken. Otherwise, this could be kind of dangerous. What does this judgment involve? There is no better mirror in which to see the true nature of a killer than his victim. You took their hands from them. Now, I will clutch one of their souls from the abyss that they may show Baal who you are. The oath was holding me back. That healing spell was really nice, though. <laughs> All right, I'm ready to be judged. Let sure. Begin. Spirit of the slaughtered, return to us. I think that what I gained Show was not better than what I lost. Murderers. The healing intent, spell was really strong. And let us judge him for his bloody service. His will be done. I wonder if I can go back and get my oath again. Are they calling back Gortash's soul now? Oh yeah, they are. You took this spirit's life and thus its voice. So speak for it. How was this pitiable creature slain? Hmm. In combat, honorably, the deed is done. The details on my first, I ended a sorry existence. Then I cut the hand from its corpse. In combat, honorably, that's not going to make him happy, right? First, I ended sorry. Then I cut the hand from its corpse. Reverence, zeal. Uh, they're not happy with that. Long may he reign. <laughs> Your offering pleases Lord Baal. Your words delight him. You slaughter well, Aspirant. Oh. You are deemed worthy. That was easy. Enter the Dread Lord's abattoir and submit to his will. Okay. Level 16. Check out this fucking guy, huh? Level 16. What if I, like, quickly go whoop his ass? I bet he's got a good weapon, too, huh? I go whoop his ass real fast. <laughs> Do it. Smack him up. 
Oh, isn't this the uh, detective thing? Uh, uh oh, oh, this is where, okay. So this is where we're going to get attacked by everything, huh? This is where we're going to get attacked by everything. Is that about it? <laughs> you stand now on the cusp of the Dreadlord's favor. One killing secures your rebirth as an unholy assassin of Baal. The slaughter of a celestial being. Make violence of its goodness. Spill its blood. And bathe in Baal's eternal rapture. Boy, I know you. Do not listen to this ancient fuck. Free me at once. Uh, blood will be spelt Saravak. I will slaughter you. Oh, there you go. Uh, so all these ghosts are here. Okay. That fucking Billy Badass over here, huh? Moonlight Butterflies. Somebody's off balance. What does that do again? Hmm. I think we'll just attack. I could also do lacerate. Okay. Uh, sure, smack him up. Are those the moonlight butterflies were like hitting him over and over? Um, hmm. I didn't realize the moonlight butterflies actually hit. I thought they just created that he was, uh, I thought they just made it so that he, I didn't realize that's how it worked. He's your brother in one and two. He's your brother. Uh,. Okay. Seems like he's a bit hard to hit. Topple the big folk. Is he large? What is he? How do I... Is there a way to see what his size is? Is he's a human? I don't think he's large, right? He's, he, he's probably not large. You play as a child of ball in one and two? Huh. I never knew those. I wonder if they'd ever, uh, I wonder if they'd ever like remaster or like remake those games or anything. Fair enough. Smack them. They have, oh, they have been remastered. Uh, Pulp Yams, thank you for the 47 months. Thank you very much. Did you just heal him for 70? I'm doing all this for fucking Dumbo bitch over here. All right, I think it's time for uh, Spirit Guardians level six. That was good. You know what? Let's also summon a uh, a level five trident. Let's summon that too. Oh man, we just got slowed. Oh, that's really bad. It was uh, this thing is what slowed me. I got an 80% chance of trying here. That's slow as that with this guy right here. That's horrible. Um, 
I want to try shooting him 80%. All right, let's try shooting him. Try again. Try again. I really want to break that slow. Man, really, dude? You survived a three checks on slow? You know what? Fuck this. Three goddamn checks. I got another. I got another fucking answer for you, buddy. Here you go. How about this? Six rolls of the dice, and none of them broke his concentration on that. Six. Six. Wow. Well, I'm really glad I turned on the uh, spirit guardians. Look, at <laughs> really glad I did that. Oh, he has like fucking sanctuary on him, huh? Uh, that one. Okay. So did Carlac get slowed? Who got slowed? I thought somebody got slowed. Oh, was it just was it just Shadowheart that got slowed? That's it. Oh no, Carlac is also slowed. Okay. Right, did that fucking break your concentration? Jesus. Bro, he just like fucking ooh bangers you and hits you like 50 times. Uh Let's go giant form. Be Gavnon. <laughs> oh, he can't do anything though. Oh, I thought I could like do something. Let's also do divine favor and buff up my weapon. All right, fair enough. And more warding bond and shit. Uh, you know, these guys are all lined up. Final flash! Uh, oh, sorry, Valeria. Sorry. <laughs> oh, my bad. Can I fucking, can I even attack this guy? Okay, he had, uh, he had spirit guardians on him earlier. He doesn't have that anymore. Okay, so we have soul breaker. Um. Oh, uh, okay, he can't receive sanctuary, I see. Let's hit him with the soul breaker. Uh, trip attack. Try trip attack. Soul breaker. 
And maybe... I wonder if he can be made fearful. Let's try the uh, menacing attack. Oh, we actually... Him being frightened is really good. I forget what frightened does again. I know that's good. Cannot move. They have disadvantage in ability attack and attack rolls. Okay, that's good. And, um... I don't think the spiritual weapon is honestly going to do much for us. I'm going to go send it to try to fight this thing. Okay. Fucking kill the elephant too. Meets back on the menu, boys. He just learned to fly, you monster. Ooh, Executioner? Hell yeah, dude. Ooh, man. Hard to hit this guy, huh? All right, motherfucker. Wait, why do you have... Why do I have only a 15% chance? Is that because of this fucking bitch over here? Is that why? Oh, no. It's because he has uh, the... What is it called? The illusions. Yeah, yeah. That's what that is. Hmm. We're gonna attack you. Well, god damn! <laughs> okay, that removed that. I didn't expect this to, to do anything. Okay. Yeah. Are you hitting all of us, you fuck? We're gonna magic missile the shit out of him. Do not. Why would. Don't counter spell Lazel. I kind of hate this game. Um, I think, uh, did she lose the spirit guardians? She did. I could resummon those back. Uh, so really it's mostly Karlak is taking a massive beating. Took a big ass fucking beating there. I, you know, I don't know if spirit weapons are good. Uh, I will say that I definitely have a hard time making it work for me, though. We're not, dude, I can't hit this guy. I literally just can't hit him. Your blood belongs to Bob. You just heal? I a real hard time hitting this guy. Um. I'm beginning to think that fly is amazing.
Bro, this guy, my own guy, is kicking my ass. <laughs> my own fucking guy is kicking my ass. Um... I, I'm an idiot. I am death. Uh, that was nice. I don't know if this guy can be knocked down. Hmm, not sure. Okay. Hmm. Everyone doesn't. Did I hostile the guy supposed to be helping you? Uh, he's not hostile, right? I don't think he is. I don't think he's hostile to us. I think he's just an asshole. <laughs> oh, man. So he's no longer hastened. And just fly Gabnon's ass over here. I can't hit this guy. Arrest them? What? Did I piss this thing off somehow? We're all blessed. Uh, give me another spirit guardian. All right, at least spirit guardians is fucking hitting. 20, dude, why do I have such a, I have such a bad chance of hitting this guy. Why is? I'm even, don't I have two layers of bless on too? It's like these other things, man. Yeah, this guy is crazy. Man. Oh, shit. Uh, hello? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, you, you, uh... Can you attack the images? No, you can't. I mean, like, I understand it's happening. I just don't know how to stop it. Fifteen percent chance. Uh, run, Carlac! <laughs> you got no HP. In death, you will please. Hellish Rebuke 3. Yeah, let's do that. Ow. Um. How about, uh, how about a mind blast? Mm, didn't work. I figured I would try. If I just keep pushing him. <laughs> okay. Uh... Throw an alchemist fire over here. I thought maybe that would like take out his spirit buddies. 
but it seems like no. Take two. I will ascend. Hmm. Yeah, dude, we have like, dude, I, I don't understand how to hit. I can't hit this guy. <laughs> I can't fucking hit this guy at all. Uh, let's regroup. Let's head backwards a little bit. We know the turbine works here, right? We know that works. And I think we'll just shoot at him from afar. Count on me. I cannot believe that hit and also did a critical hit. What were the fucking odds of that? That must have been like no. The fact that it hit and it did a critical hit. Oh, did he lose his shit? He lost his shit. Level three divine smite. Fuck. Level three divine smite. Crit. Took you bloody long enough. There we go. No idea how wrinkles like mine get caught in chains. Jeez. Like that. I suppose some thanks are in order. You did a good job putting a stop to those barlist burks. Though I do wish you'd figured this all out before I. Uh, put the blame for Father Logan's murder on that poor refugee. Well, at least it's over now. The tribunal was testing people for something else. We're not finished yet. How did you end up here? I didn't do it for you. I did it to gain access to Orin. You might not be finished. I am. It's plain to see that I'm is wow, this elephant like a giant douchebag? Well, you gave these reprobates a proper seeing to. You clearly have like a big douche. Courage, insight, heroism. The city needs you. I overheard these pigs talking. There's a Baal temple deep within the old undercity that the cult is using. A century ago, it was destroyed by a group of heroic sorts. Let's hope history repeats itself, eh? He has a monocle, of course he's an asshole. Nice, foul as piss. I'm out of here. <laughs> okay. The Sword of Chaos. 9 to 27 damage. On a hit, regain 1 to 6 HP. What the fuck? That's crazy. You gain dark vision. Uh, the number you need to roll a critical hit while attacking is reduced by one. You can't be frightened, can't be afflicted with other emotion altering stuff. On a hit, inflict in bleeding upon targets that have maximum HP. Uh, abattoir key and the map to the ball temple. Use a round street hatch to enter the city sewers. Proceed northwest to find your way to the undercity ruins. Blood the skull to pass the door. Follow the trail of murder to the ball temple. So we found that door. Blood the skull. Okay. Oh, I, whoop. oh God, that is not what I meant to hit. <laughs> Sorry, I hit the wrong button. Time to press ahead. Okay, so what? I want to see this sword again. So my amulet just gives me voice of the circle. This one inflicts bleeding. Fuck yeah, dude. So this sword is 8 to 21. Lazel's is a bit stronger, but I love the idea of this sword, especially on Lazel, though. Look at that. Hmm. Kind of want to give that to Lazel. Nine to twenty-two damage. Can Carlac use it? Uh she probably can. Yeah. Making me sweat. Yeah. All right. There you go. Uh, there's also this helmet who is uh. 
We can give this to... I don't know what Carlax helmet does. What does her helmet do? Momentum for three turns. Meh. We'll give her this helmet instead. There you go. Uh, anything as a traveler's chest? Anything else here? Uh, pipe. Uh, Valeria Snuff. Mastodonian Memoirs. Investigator Valeria. Uh, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Small gilded chest over here. Yeah, getting getting more crits is obviously pretty good. Lockpick. Fleck of the rest. I don't care if that going to take a lot of damage anyway. Jeez, this is a tough one too, man. Twenty. I'm a bitch. I gotta pick this up and carry this shit with me. Uh, I have 16. I try again. Maybe. Uh, Jake, thank you for the sub. Appreciate that. Goddamn guidance. You suck. Uh, thank Bar you, Jake. Chaos. Let's keep doing it. Uh, Jake, thanks so much for 50 months. Appreciate it, dude. Death taxes and bad rolls. There better be something good in here. 50 gold and yeah, silver. There we go. There we go. I am missing a Sterion. Yeah, I like, dude. I like, ha I like, it's not like I dislike or like Carlac. I just like having a Sterion around. Elixir of giant hill strength. Uh, Wizard Bane. Uh, a necklace. Memoirs of my death. So this is all, I guess this is all what happened in like a previous game, right? More arrows of lightning. I kind of feel like this act is giving you a lot of arrows of lightning because they know you need it, right? <laughs> uh, let's go take uh, some short rest. Okay. The giant hill strength. Yeah, that's pretty nice too. All right, so we killed big, big badass, Billy Badass over here. Judicial seat. There's a chest over here. Why not pick up the necklace to sell? Everyone is playing Helldivers 2, Barb. I was playing it too, but now the game doesn't work anymore for me. I was also playing it. So, it, yeah, I, I don't know what to tell you, man. The game crashes. I don't really want to buy the game again either right now. Yeah, the game doesn't work. It doesn't. It does not load for me at all. Uh, and if you're gonna, uh, don't don't bother with. Have you tried this? Have you tried that? Have you tried this? Tried everything. I even tried factory. It deleted all saves. Factory reset the console. Uh, rebuilt the database. I did everything, dude. It just doesn't work. It doesn't work. I mean, I kind of feel like I don't really want to buy it again, right? I feel like I did buy it. And I, I for number one, I don't want to restart my entire save. I don't want to do that because that's time consuming, right? Number two, I don't feel like I should have to. I feel like it's the onus is on them to fix it. Yes, I tried the patch. I get like I this is remember when I said I tried everything. I tried everything. <laughs> we covered this already. I was not lying. Yeah, it, it does not load. There's nothing I can do. The farthest it gets, it it gets to the choose your language screen, and then and then it freezes. So, yeah, I don't have to tell you, man. Nothing else I can do. Did I try your idea? Uh, is there anything else to do here? There's like a dead body in here. Uh, okay, hang on. Vulnerable to bludgeoning. Where's my hammer?
Where's me hammer? Somebody's got my hammer. I lost it. I've got too many fucking magical weapons and shit. There you go. You try Hindi instead of Spanish. Oh, I thought it said it was vulnerable to bludgeoning. Yeah, it is vulnerable. What do you mean? What do you mean? That says vulnerable. There you go. Oh, it says immune to psychic. Oh, okay. There we go. What do you got? Dear Quill. Remember me and we spent a sweet evening chatting to one another if you gave me a heart stopping performance. Heard you were headed to Baldur's Gate to get your songbook. Uh, I pre ordered my copy. Forgive a humble fist I sent you in writing. I was bold enough to say on each night. Your eyes shine. Uh, you must have many suitors, but perhaps you get to the gate. Maybe one starry night. Uh, okay. So that was pointless. <laughs> Oh, oh, there's a fucking key thing here. God damn it. Son of a bitch. We play Helldivers again if they fix it. I really enjoyed the game. Uh, it's, it's not about me liking or not liking the game chat. It's that I literally cannot load it. So, I mean, we're waiting to see when they, when they finish it. So... Or if they if they even fix it, I have this like sneaking suspicion that my issue is never gonna get fixed. Actually, I don't know. I just like that's that's kind of what I think it's gonna be. I mean, we'll see. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. But yeah. Again, again, I tried it this morning. I spent like an hour this morning doing all the things I just said. Once again, still does not work. Uh, yes, thank you. I'm aware. I've done. I did all of these things. No, the console, uh, I also, so after our factory reset, I down, I re-downloaded, um, I heard there was another aspirant seeking the tribunal. I, lo I also the downloaded Neo 2 and Neo 2 ran Jesus. fine, so. If you think you're getting in the way of my ascension, you are deeply So you mistaken. hate it. Uh, your ascension isn't happening. I already killed Saravok and the rest of the tribunal. That smarmy tongue out of your head. Really? Ah. Ow. There's no way this little shithead's actually strong, right? He's got some courage. I don't think we need to smite this guy, right? Oh, okay. <laughs> See, I guess. Uh, handbag. Oh, wow. Oh, this is the dwarf that killed everybody. This is it. This is the one they were talking about. So then Father Lorgan was killed or whatever. He was killed by um location. We should find this Dagger plus two. When you land a critical hit with this weapon, it deals an additional seven damage. He was killed by this uh ballist cultist guy, right? Okay. Can we uh resolve that uh quest line now? I wonder. Definitely loot it. Yeah, yeah, right. We got him. Yeah, we found him. What's hiding here? Too late. Ah, it could be too late, right? Oh, are the Death Knights dead? I didn't even notice. Hang on. Oh, 
Oh, did he also kill that which guards? Huh? Let's go see what these are. No, the elephant's alive. He escaped. He ran off. Uh, Blackguard sword. Key to the murder tribunal. Shield of the undevout. Your foes have disadvantage on saving throws uh, to resist. Uh, action inflict this. This will be armor class plus two. All incoming damage. This is actually a higher armor class than what I have, actually. Interesting. I don't know if that's better than what I have. That's good armor. I think somebody might be able to use that, though, right? Uh, you gain a long strider. Okay. Interesting. Okay, some of the, some of these things have got to be good, right? Uh, I wonder if you get the city faster, you can prevent the cult from spreading. I don't think so. I don't think that, I don't think that's the thing you can do in the game. But I, you know, I could be wrong. She's wearing medium armor. I think Carly can't wear heavy armor, right? I don't think Shadowheart can wear heavy armor either. I don't think Shadowheart. I don't think she she can. It's either gonna be me or Lazel. Uh, Paul Gillespie, thank you for the sub. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Athletics plus one could be good. What is long strider exactly? Movement speed increased. Uh, I guess I can swap to that. And these uh, gauntlets. This one sets my dexterity and gives me attack plus one. I can give those to Lazel instead. Uh, Blackguard's Gauntlets would be attack plus one. What are Lazel's, this one? Hit with a weapon, possibly inflict a one onto the target's attack rolls and sleight of hand. What does attack plus one mean? What does this mean? That seems pretty good for Lazel, I guess, right? He's pretty good. You change your subclass, like her attack roll. Plus one to rolls and damage. I guess I can give that to Lazel instead because uh, I don't think her current gauntlets were doing anything. Yeah, I, I don't feel like I've ever seen that do anything ever. So. That's all incoming damage reduced. So yeah, this, this armor is not great. It's, it's not bad, but it's not great. Okay. Fair enough. All right. Still, uh, let me, I got to look at what our quest thing says. Chance to hit plus one. So that's pretty good. I'll miss less. Okay. Back upstairs. Uh, yeah, the dimension door boots actually are really good. That actually is really good. That's fair. Have I ever used click heals on Karlak? I don't think I ever have. Yeah, giving Karlak a dimension door would actually be really nice. Okay. So let's see, what's on our quest now? So we have to reach the temple. Um, so we're going to Basilisk Gate and then we're going somewhere nearby, somewhere nearby. Oh, we're going into the manhole here. Is that it? Strange Beggar Lumbar. Uh, what does some of your videos on YouTube have intros with thumbnails and some are missing that? Uh, it just depends. Usually the ones that are VODs are pretty much just straight up VODs uploaded from Twitch that I have, um, I've just kind of edited down a little bit and that's it. So, and some are more, uh, some are more, uh, there was more editing put into them. So I can go ahead and throw away this musical instrument that I've been carrying around. Uh, I don't know why. I, okay, hang on. Where's my hammer? There we go. Makes sense. You gonna stop to give him a penny? 
I'm busy. Um, do I have to like blow this wall open or something? Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> Do I have to fucking blow this wall up or something? Yep. Okay. How's Baldur's Gate 3 been so far? It was my first CRPG and I loved it. Uh, it's been a ton of fun. It's been a ton of fun. Uh, I really enjoyed this game. I do think that it has a bit of a strange difficulty curve. And there's little things about it that are a little nuisance. But they're just like imperfections and little things about the game. Uh, overall, it's been a fantastic time. Very fun. Um, rotten barrel. Let me guess. Rotten food in the rotten barrel. Nope. That's not. Dude, the Trader Joe's Kung Pao chicken is fucking sick. Also, I thought I banned you, Boba Fett's meat. <laughs> but then I see somebody in chat and I'm like, I thought I banned you. I did ban you. No entry, no exit. I did ban you. Okay. Uh, wait. Oh, we're in the fucking guild hall? Wait. We were here. Uh, hey, sorry I broke down the wall. Hi, guys. Memory of an elephant? All I remember is that I banned you. I don't remember exactly why. I was once banned by Barb under a different chat name. None of that plum prosecco. Now, what can I get you, new Textures are breaking. Beverages of distinction, or in some. See the liquor. Ah, uh, ooh. Okay, so I can buy like all this shit. How are you feeling today? Milk. Okay, I actually want all of your camp supplies. Coffee. Hippo coffee. Drunken cloth. While drunk, you have advantage on constitution saving throws and you gain temporary HP equal to your constitution modifier. That's pretty funny. You can be like drunken master if you were a kung fu guy, right? We're always ready to rat themselves. They've been banned before. No, I'm not too worried about it. At least not in that. I don't, I don't think it was anything. I don't, I don't remember what it was. Probably one of my moderators unbanned them. Uh, you should have known I wanted to come back. Our corruption stream. I'm harmless. He was playing a game he hated. Take all of these. Want all the booze because I want all the camp supplies. Yeah, he probably said something cringe during Wings of V. That's my guess. All this. Yep, all that. I'm making this guy fucking rich. I could probably sell back a bunch of shit. This is kind of comfortable. It's been a while since so we've had a good old fashioned timeout purge. You know, let me uh let me sell some stuff back to him too. What do I have here? Gold necklace, gold necklace. I don't think I'm ever going to use the gauntlets of the tyrant. Although spell save is kind of nice, right? Gold ring and crossbow. Oh, I, dude, I have this bell that I can summon Balthazar's flesh golem. I've, I, I have all this shit I've never used. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. Um. I can sell this book, The Annals of Carthus, for Carthus for a thousand dollars. Okay, uh, another thousand dollars. Give my money back. I've got a couple of hands in my inventory. <laughs> uh, I actually want to keep the water. I don't know why I have a pile of towels.
All right, good enough. Uh, that bell doesn't work anymore. Oh, does it not? Always bring a towel. Okay, so I'm still looking for where to go. Um, can I somehow go north of here? Like, can I keep going north? Was this the door I smashed open? I, I'm so... I've been very lost sometimes in this act. I gotta hand it to you. This poor vendor being forced to buy all my old junk. Dude, I made him fucking rich. I gave him books worth thousands of dollars. That is rich as fuck now. Wait, uh, Hellsick the Diabolist is over here? Where? Is he up this ladder? Oh, that's just telling me how to get back up. That's that's what that's doing. Okay. Never mind. Did you finish Final Fantasy VI? I have not. No. So somehow I have to get here. Uh, it's probably the underway. It's it's this door. This is the door we have to do, right? I have an amulet of ball. Let me pass, door. You hold proof of faith, but to hold and deserve are different. How have you proven yourself in the Dreadlord's eyes? Slaughter the murder tribunal. Unorthodox. But a show of faith nonetheless. Walk in blood. Oh, okay. Well, that was easy. <laughs> All right, fair enough. And we're in. Uh, what's up, Nerdbane? Yeah, dude, today's been very fun. It feels, it honestly feels good to, um, E is for Elkin, F is for, for is first murder, the ball's primate, the ball primates aid. Uh, it's been good honestly like i i've been playing this game like once or twice a week and it honestly feels good to uh to put like a big session into this game and try to because this would have taken me a while to get through it feels good to have like a really big uh big session here you are surprised you know i don't think i've ever seen that i don't think i've ever seen that The affected entity has become the target of a chanting cult as the far so you can cast balls power word kill once its profane ritual ends exiting the the far slayers chanting range of 50 might seem vulnerable to the effect slaying the far slayers so wait we have to fucking like kill this guy uh he he pretty far away okay let's go ahead and dash Dude, Karlak can fucking run, huh? Look at her go. Moving. Fucking run. So how many turns do we have? We have five turns before we die, I guess. Speed Demon, he's not called the Close Slayer. We're all still uh, slowed, or surprised, rather. Uh, hellish Rebuke. I feel like that's not worth a spell slot. Could I uh, Dimension Door right up there? Maybe soon. Maybe I could. Jimmy on the go. Uh, 
Oh, hang on. I wonder if I could. Okay, if I dimension door right here, I can get up there real fast and I'll be right next to him. Okay, I guess we'll do that. Boy, uh, Gadnon's just getting repeatedly shot here, huh? Jeez, man, leave me the fuck alone. Well, we really walked into a fucking ambush here, didn't we? Holy shit. How do I even, uh... Oh, I can fly. <laughs> I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. Think about it every night and yeet! Spread my wings and fly away. Open target. Kaboom, Yay. bitch! Okay, one down. I am fury. I am death. Oh, if you don't have access to, like, uh, some of your abilities at this point, this could be really tough, huh? No time to waste. Right. Like, if you're not used to using Dimension Door and other shit, this could be really rough. Uh, let's see. I don't really know what, what the fuck are, what the fuck is Shadowheart gonna do? I don't know. Can you, uh, go heal Gatnon a little bit? Uh, let's see. That doesn't reach. I think this could reach. There you go. Go and heal up Gatnon a little bit. Gatnon's also gonna heal himself, too, so... Uh, let's see. Yeah, go for it. Up. Oh. Nice try. Throat punch. That throat chop from the Matrix. Uh, X, thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you, X. Appreciate that. Oh. Weird. Okay, uh, up the ladder. Target cannot be moved. Uh, do I have a brace? Searing smite. I guess we'll just swing. So all this unstoppable shit takes a while. Like you got to get through all of his unstoppable shit, right? It's going to take a while. Ow, fucking 26. Jeez. Uh, I really wish I could fly over there. I can fly... Not enough movement. Really? Is there no place I can stand right here? Oh, I can stand, like, right here. Oh, since I'm outside of the range, it doesn't, like, hurt me anymore? Is that it? Okay, one. Two. And shove. Oh, you didn't fall off. Yes. Uh, it was a good attempt at timing there. Not quite. <laughs> it was a nice try. Uh, 
X. Thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you, X. Yeah, what is uh, that unstoppable shit, man? That's rough. It just makes you, like, immune to several hits or something. Fail the 90% chance. It's rough, man. Concentrate. On I go. Take you. you. Take you. Sure. Man. Man, wow, look at this fucking dude. What the fuck? Murderous cloud of daggers. Oh, that always freaks me out. 28? Man, fuck that dude. Bro, you're fucking kidding. Wow, man. That's fucked up. And there's just more guys here. This is fucked up. Do we have two turns left? How the fuck am I going to do? Like, how the hell am I going to do this shit? Yeet. Okay, I, I'm pretty sure you can make it there. Now, I guess, like, theoretically, we could just get out of this area, too, right? Just get out of his range, and we won't die from it. So, like, it's like I think this red misty shit is, is the range, right? Barb, you don't blink when you think. My, when I was a kid, my parents would always tell me, Blink! Blink, Chris, blink. Boing. And boing. And to this day, he never did. Time to strike. See, if I use the Githyanki super jump, The uh, get Yankee super jump is really funny to me. Ready. Oh, this guy is still here, huh? Um. Hmm. Spirit Guardians as the fuck you option. Yeah. Fuck you. And, uh. Go ahead and heal yourself a little bit too. Damn you, man. Zap. Did you recover your oath? No, I guess I'm an oath breaker now. I am so glad you didn't. That's some bullshit, man. That's some bullshit. That is some fucking bullshit, man. Wow. This is a cheap fight. This is dirty. This is a fucking dirty fight.
So this is our last turn. I don't think we win this. I think we lose. Um, if I fly here, am I outside of the range, I guess? Yeah. Let's see. Let me fly here. Maybe I'm outside of the range now. Sinso in can shape shift. What do you want her to transform into before you bone? Just a funny thing I thought of. Ha ha. Or God, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate that. All right, he's not unstoppable. Come on. One, two, three, action surge. There we go. Is that all your bullshit done? This is your end. Now this guy's fucking hard to hit apparently. Okay, fuck you. <laughs> How embarrassing he died to a fucking melee attack from Shadowheart. Ah, uh, Fighter is really strong. Yeah, Fighter is really fucking good, dude. Remind me if I ever play... Oh, that's not what I meant to press. If I ever play Dungeons and Dragons, remind me to choose a Fighter class. Oh, did they all just fuck off? They all just fucked off. I would watch the shit out of that. Monk is giga strong. He's gonna be a solid subclass for any melee build. We don't have to worry about Karlak exploding anymore. Yeah, Karlak is fine now. We're all good now. A squad of four fighters. All right. Um, does Gab not have a level three spell? I think he does. Uh, let me look at Gabnon spells. Where is my revive spell? I think it's a level three spell, right? Oh, can I just cast it? Oh, I can like turn. Okay, so I turn that off. Now I can bring that back. I think I can do that and save the scroll. Yeah. Paladin, Shadowheart has Revivify as well. Oh, you think so? There you go. All right. Let's, uh, can we take a long rest? Let's go take a long rest. Let's all recover. That was, uh, that was an asshole-ish encounter. That was a really, I felt like the game was, uh, was, you know, a lot of times in fights, it feels like you're cheesing the fights. That felt like the game cheesing you is what that felt like. <laughs> Uh, okay, auto select and full rest. Great with combos and stuff, but can't use any cool armor or weapons. That would be pretty frustrating, right? I thought that was the worst fight in the game. So, if that counter runs down in that fight, if it, like, let's say the counter runs out, do you just die? Anybody who's in there just dies. Open up. You just die. Mm, let's see. Split pea soup. Did anybody here play on Tactician on their first playthrough? Anybody here do that? I guess probably, probably not. He did. Some of you may have, uh, you have, you maybe have a lot of experience with this kind of game. You know, I, I believe, I believe that for some of you guys. You guys maybe even played like Baldur's Gate 1 or 2, right? I need to take Okay, cool. Game's fucking hard even on even on balance. You played Baldur's Gate 1 and 2? Uh Ophelia, how are out of curiosity, I I just I haven't heard anybody say anything about those games. How are those games? I'm more just like curious than anything else. 
Oh, you did, you have played Baldur's Gate 1 and 2? You found 3 much easier than 1 and 2. Interesting, interesting. It's super easy after level like 4 and 5. I don't know if I'd say the game is easy, but it definitely felt like the game's difficulty was very front-loaded. Like, all of the difficulty felt like it was at the beginning of the game. That, uh... That dragon fight was fucking hard. The giant robot fight was hard. Um... I feel like I didn't even really notice if what's his fuck was hard. Uh, Gortash? That fight went so fast, I didn't even have a chance. Okay, it says that there's a scroll here, but I can't, I can't pick it up. Oh, there we go. The Strangle Death Manifesto. Was anything ever good written in a manifesto? I don't know, man. Oh, let's read it. I have no patience playing these kinds of games. Oh, you, you, know, you might be an idiot. To be fair, uh, the, this is this is my actual opinion, though. This is my real, like, no, no bullshit. My actual opinion is that if you if you like, I can't play turn-based games. I can't play RPGs. I can't play that sort of thing. I think you are only you're only doing yourself a disservice. Only doing yourself. Nobody else cares. Like you're only just missing out on games. And and to be if that's the way you are, fair enough. But uh, you're only you're only doing yourself a disservice. Uh, if you're reading this missive, know that you're a number among my most trusted confidants. Uh, also know that if you betray my trust, my hands will grip your throat with steadfast blah blah blah. But the calling when my fingers meet each other around a windpipe. Uh, we'll say my claim on a legacy of murder. <sighs> We'll challenge Lady Aura to her birthright and my grip stops her grasp before she flays my skin. I'll become Strangler Luke, son of Ball. So like, they're all just like, I'm gonna murder, 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 murder. It's all just murder. All a whole bunch of murder bullshit. Okay. Oops, all murder. Death cults. Doom, he shall spawn a score of mortal progeny. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Weird flex, but okay. A grilled pork leg. Hell yeah, dude. Grilled pork belly. Hell yeah, man. The god of murder. What's inside? This area looks badass. Yeah, like the underground, like ruined caverns and castles. Looks like Mines of Moria a little bit. Hmm? Final Fantasy isn't an RPG anymore. I mean, there's, I don't know, there's some people who look at turn-based games and they're like, I can't play it. And uh, I think that's kind of a shame, but I mean, you know, there's also people who look at uh, foreign movies and they're like, I can't watch that. And to me, that's like, you're missing out. You're just missing out on good movies. Like there's good, there's good and bad foreign movies like anything else, but uh, that is a lot of rats. That is a whole lot of rats over there. Yeah. Uh, we're close to the Elder Brain's hiding place? Turn back. We must have all the nether stones before we approach the brain. What do you mean, turn back? I'm here to get the nether stone. Oh, was there another path I missed? Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. Did I first try the dragon? Yeah, I first tried the dragon. Uh, it wasn't too bad. Uh, I first tried the dragon, then uh, a bunch of gift subs rolled in, and everybody was like, man, Barb, you're just, like, incredible. Uh, you're just an amazing gamer. God, look at the, the skill and ability on display here is just, uh, phenomenal. Everybody clapped. Have we seen Orin yet? Not here. I mean, we... Orin, Orin and Gortash were all over us when we first showed up, but... Uh, here? No, not yet. I stood up at my desk. <laughs> no, I did. I did actually first try the dragon, though. Chaos will be sown from their passage. I cried. 
Some people have been clapping this whole time. This kind of looks like we're at the title screen, right? Did we make... Are we at the title screen? Guys, did we make it to the title screen? We're here. I think we made it. Uh, Rev numbers, thank you for the 30 months. Thank you very much. Did Twitch F? Uh, according to my my OBS, I dropped 629 frames. According to OBS. In apologies of dropping 629 frames, I offer you my cat, who is gnawing on his foot right now. I am deeply, deeply sorry. In this trying time, I ask that you please have patience with me. Uh, and here is my cat. He is. He seems to be trying to eat his foot. Snakey. A snakey. <laughs> you are forgiven now it's bath time good trade acceptable kit thank you for the gift sub thank you very much appreciate that I have a lot of gold bars. Uh, you owe 500 drop frames. Put it on my tab. I, how long did I stream till last night? Like 1245, which is like way over my normal stream time. You know, like technically you guys owe me overtime pay actually after last night. What if we want to really get down to it? Where's my, where's my overtime? I don't think so. Frames for the frame god. But Alondo did not see. He did not know. He Boomer did hours not circled around know. last night. You're on salary. What is to come? <sighs> I got tired. Uh, Quartos. Thank you for the six gift subs. Thank you very much. Benz, thank you for the five gift subs. All right, we're even. Thank you for the gift subs, guys. I appreciate it. <laughs> Fine. I got, you know, I really want to finish. I got, all right, I have to finish the book tonight. I have to finish the book finally. And, uh, oh, there's a whole bunch of dead bodies here. Uh, I have to finish the book tonight. I also want to finish Blue Eyed Samurai tonight. I want to finish that. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Potion of speed. What is the book discussion? Uh, sometime it's probably like a week or a couple, a week and a couple days or something. It's not going to be for a little while. Clown severed head. So wait, 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 wait. So that clown quest, do you just have to find all the pieces of the clown all around and put them back together like fucking Humpty Dumpty? Is that what you got to do? Belongs to Dribbles the clown. Plenty more to find. Shouldn't be difficult. The killer seems quite proud of their accomplishment. I wonder what the fuck you get for all that. Okay, somebody else hold the head here. Shadow heart, hold the head. <laughs> uh, there is something funny about making Shadow heart hold the head. Uh, here, also hold these gold bars. Um, Paco Gutierrez, age nine, always wanted a Nintendo console. However, due to being extremely poor living in Venezuela, it was just a distant dream. Using his creativity, he made a cardboard Super Mario game, posted it on YouTube and the video went viral.
Thanks to the video, Nintendo's CEO Bowser personally traveled to Venezuela to give Paco a cease and desist order and sue his family for $200 million. Dumb Chess, thank you for $5. Dumb Chess, thank you for $5. Hey, Dumb Chess, I legit hope you're doing well. I hope things are well. And thank you for the uh, $10, dude. Hope you're doing all right. Dude, what a loyal viewer. He's still watching, even though he can't speak in here for a long time. That is a loyal viewer. Thank you very much, Dumb Chess. I hope you're well. Feel strong, man. Some sweet. What do you guys think? Should we free Dump Chest? Should we free him? Never miss a stream on, on my million second time. Uh, didn't you want that? I thought you wanted it. Perfectly avoided all the traps. Stone seals this chamber against the world. The Baal amulet trembles in frightened awe. Examine the door. Try a religion check. Why not? Uh. God. Oh, wow. I almost had it. Take it to a vote. Gadnon, don't give a fuck. You do not discover truth. In these symbols, you see only death. Uh, press the amulet against the door. Try that. Will you return once you cross this threshold? Okay. Gadnon is inspired. Oh, I see. So these are... This is the next I'm going to fight 8 million people. I should just start killing them now because they're all going to... I'm going to go down there. I'm going to chat to this person. They're going to be like, hey, kill them. And I'm going to have to fight all... I should just start fighting them now, honestly, right? <laughs> uh, let's see. Eat some nuggies. I am pretty hungry, Peepo Juice. Katie, um, Katie has a thing. Does anybody else like that when, when their significant other cooks, like husband, wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, they burn shit? Katie fucking incinerated. We were gonna have breakfast this morning and Katie didn't burn the bacon, she incinerated it. It was so bad it had to go fucking outside. That's how bad it was. Uh, she's been doing this for quite some time. We're gonna have to kill all these people, I guess. Oh, is that is that Gale? Oh my God, it's it's Dale. Hey, Dale. We found Dale. Gortash's corpse stain. Gabe. His killer approaching. Damn, Gadnon looks fucking badass. was not yours to spill he was mine you had no right to take him oh did it think it could protect did it think it could save only the blades can offer salvation uh you said Baal wanted us to fight. He will reject this offering. Kind of want to try intimidation too. I don't think intimidation is going to work. She fucking likes this shit. Try persuasion. Oh, wow. That ain't going to work either, apparently. 
Uh, <laughs> we got a lot of bonuses here. All right, chat. Start prediction. Does uh, will Barb win this roll? Yes or no? Place your bets, chat. Will I win this roll of the dice? I have to roll at 25. Place your bets, chat. Will I win this roll? You guys want a gamba? Like 50 50? No, no re rolls. I may use re rolls, but I'm not gonna. That doesn't count for the bet. In your favor. Yeah, we have six. 10, 14 we're getting from nothing because of persuasion, proficiency, expertise. So we actually do have some, we have a lot going for us here. Yeah, it seems easy. Then I roll a critical failure. <laughs> I kind of feel bad for, for Jim or whatever. I kind of feel bad for our wizard buddy. We all know it's going to be two ones. Feel bad for Jim. Snake eyes, double ones. Jim the wizard. <laughs> I kind of want uh I kind of want a Gabnon of Gale. We have Barb Gabnon. We should have Barb Gabe and it should be Gabnon but it's it's, it's Gale. <laughs> we should have that. All right, let's roll the dice. Oh man, we did not uh we didn't make it, did we? Not even close. No, we didn't get it be done within the hour all right so the answer was no we didn't get it hang on will bar win this roll answer was no we did not Let's roll again i'm gonna roll again there we go there it was i had a lot no i know i had all the modifiers of the fucking world you do not lie underling it is your destined to spill your death spit will stain these walls little lamb your murder should have been exquisite a crypt born effigy to great bars bleeding dawn and now it will be nothing i think orin is to me, the least interesting character in the game She's not very interesting. Whoa! I think they like, it's like they overdid it with her a little bit. She's a little much. You threw a rock at me, you bitch. Just throwing, you're just throwing rocks at me? Oh man, Karlak is fucking encumbered or Shadowheart's encumbered. Can I do this now? Thank you. All right, so what do we got? Orin, Deathbringer of Ball, Legendary Resistance. Oh, oh man, so she's gonna be invulnerable for like a long time. She's gonna be invulnerable to shit for like a really long time, isn't she? Yeah, she's gonna be immune to like everything. Reaper of this, so what is this deal? Are these like all praying first? Like these all have sanctuary. I can't harm them. Okay. Where the fuck is Shadowheart? No time to waste. Oh, <laughs> you wanna, no you wanna come down here and join the rest of us, Shadowheart? This looks rough, actually. Uh, 
I wonder if I can mind blast these guys. So what I want to read about Unstoppable. Reduce the next damage by uh, to one. Consumes the energy. That is so rough. That's so rough, man. Unstoppable sucks. I saw that she has... I saw that. Yeah, I saw. This could be fire, baby. Okay. Go ahead and rage face. Find a route. All right. Let's see. Uh, Slayer form has embraced a savage compulsion, allowing it to assume Slayer form. Slayer. Let's go get uh, the Guardians rock in here. Okay. I wonder if you do really have to chop through all of her all of her layers of that. Oh man, slow. We need to get rid of the, that slow shit is the worst. Uh, so we're slowed here and that's all we can do. Fuck. All right, I am going to magic missile the shit out of this guy. There we go. Fuck you and fuck your slow. So she is permanently unstoppable. <laughs> well, what the fuck do you do then? I guess I have to, I must have to kill these guys somehow, but these guys all have sanctuary on them. Just got fucked up. Um, what if I throw uh, out of curiosity? Up. Oh. Uh, well, that hit him. He still has sanctuary. I was kind of curious to see if that could like hit him at all. So I don't know how to clear out their sanctuary. That's how, that's the thing. I don't know how to clear that out. Hmm. Figure something out. This guy in his fucking slow, man. Oh. Fuck you and fuck your slow. So I still can't, so I can't attack there. So is it like a lack of AOE is the problem? Hmm. I gotta figure something out here. 
Aura of murder. Do I have the aura of murder? Oh, that means I'm vulnerable to piercing damage. Okay. So that's just going to continue to do that every time, I think. Not harm. Oi. Then how am I supposed to do this? <laughs> then how am I going to do this shit, right? What's it going to take? Oh, wait. We are doing damage? I thought you were unstoppable. Oh, no, we're not. Okay. Am I just going to have to hit her one damage at a time? <laughs> have to keep going. The spirit guardians works. I tell you what, Act 3 has some pretty cool fights. I'll say that for sure. Um, so I can't... Uh, I guess I could do this. So, chat, is cleave something you can only do? You, that's not something you can repeatedly do, right? You can only do that once. Or can you do that... Uh, can you do that? No, you can do it over and over. Oh, it's once per short rest. See, that's the problem with it. Uh, I guess I could try throwing poison at him too. Is that gonna work? I poisoned you. <laughs> the I think that's kind of fucking pathetic. Critical hit. Man. The guy in the left loses sanctuary. No, he still's got sanctuary on him. I could cast Moonbeam. I could do that. This is gonna feel good. Hmm. Why's he holding his head? Hey, thank uh, you for the gift. I think so. she's dazed. She's dazed. I don't have a gr I just feel like I don't have like a I'm not well equipped to deal with this. Uh now the other option I have is scrolls. That's the other option. I've also got grenades and shit. Let me take a look at my scrolls here. Which bolt? Uh, Peroxidasis, thank you very much. Appreciate that. I, I know I have a lot of good scrolls for sure. Casting spells. Wait, why is casting spells blocked? I can't. Wait, what? Why is it blocked from casting spells? Oh, I see. I see. I understand. So I still can't attack directly. It has to be like an AOE thing. So like if I were to do a wall of fire here, I've never done this spell. Um, 
Here, let me move Karlak out of the way. Let me move her out of the way a little bit. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't think I, I've never seen Wall of Fire, so I don't know what it does. I've, I've never used it. Okay, uh, where was it? Wall of Fire. I know, dude, Sunbeam is good. We also have Wall of Ice, Witch Bolt. See, it has to be something that's going to... Uh, that's something that's going to hit a lot. I've also got Scroll of Disintegrate. Uh, Chromatic Orb. A Wall of Stone. Haste. Remove Curse. Yeah, I think Sunbeam would be good. Uh, let's just do uh, Scroll of Fire. Let's do that. Oh, that! Oh, shit! <laughs> that was sick! Holy crap! <laughs> Man, Magic's got some some fucking badass stuff, huh? All right, uh, we're gonna yoink our way over here. See ya. That one died. Uh, this one's almost dead. All right, now he's dead. I'm always, I'm always afraid I'm not hitting the right people with this. Hang on. So, Lazel, Gabnon, Arlac, myself, heal. There we go. Okay. Uh, Lazel doesn't have, I don't know if Lazel has a great way of, uh, I don't think she really has an AOE. Could I give, I could give her a scroll, I suppose. Hmm. Or like, yeah, I've got like grenades and bombs and shit. You can keep throwing shit. I have a poisonous slime ball. Here, here's what, I'm just going to keep, uh... Let's keep wailing on this thing. What if I can uh, trip it or not? All right, where's my uh, scroll of moonbeam? Here it is. All right, we hit them. They're still, these things are tanky too. Like they're not. Uh, can't really shove. I think that's like all I can do. Okay. I'm not sure why Karlak is at a disadvantage. Um, Contagion poison stage one. Wait, she's diseased. Uh, how did she? Where the fuck did that happen? How the hell are you diseased? Hasn't active. Uh, hasn't activated the auras. STDs. How the hell did that happened. Okay. 
Just tied to the table. Mm. Okay, another one down. It doesn't do much damage, does it? Uh, let's go ahead and let's put another big heal on everybody. And bless everybody up. Uh, can I, I uh, wonder if I can, so legendary, uh, plus 10 saving throw against incapacitation. Uh, unstoppable. I think, uh, can it be moved? I think I could still, like, knock her down and shit. Uncanny dodge, extra attack, reliable talent, perfect sentry, opportunity attack, evasion. I think I could still like knock her down and shit, right? Um, let's trip attack. Trip attack. Trip attack. Okay, it's possible she might not be able to be knocked down. <laughs> it is possible. We're gonna rally Karlak here. Recast Sunbeam. So I think there's only one more. Only one more here. You can just heal from that, right? Hey, what, well, Karlak? She she takes a beating and she keeps going. Hey, babe. Okay, if only this guy is so this guy is so close to dying. Um I don't think I can do anything about that though. I think I have to wait. I really don't want more unstoppable bullshit though. Is there nothing I can do here? Two to five damage. He's only got eleven he's got eleven HP left. But I have like a, I have I can, but I can't shoot an arrow at him either, right? And none of my arrows can really hit. I can give her a scroll, maybe. Mm, hang on, let's see. Scrolls. Bombs? Yeah, the problem with bombs is that uh, Shadow Heart's right next. I think, you know what? I think, I think the best thing is to just wait. Just wait another turn. She's gonna get her fucking bullshit again. I do wonder if she's immune to, uh, to stuff. Balls boom. Has some shot the ground. No idea they have to be sanctuary. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Um, Wait, I can actually recast Sunbeam here. Fuck it. Do it. Okay. No more ball bullshit. Time to press ahead. It's like step on Dale's head as we walk by. This is my happy place. Okay. 
Okay, she were wearing down the unstoppable shit on her. Fifty percent. Nine percent. Nine percent. Not so good. Bonk. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> Let's go heal everybody. It also blesses everybody. Uh, I I don't think she can be tripped. I'm beginning to think she can't be tripped. I can't, it's hard to tell if, an, if a monster can be tripped or not. She might just be rolling against, it might just be that she's rolling against it. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Um, we'll keep trying to trip her. Yeah, well, I, I, if she, if she saved against it, it would probably say immune if she was saved against it, right? So I don't think she's gonna get more uh, more unstoppable after this. So we just have to keep hitting her. If I fire this scorching ray, if I keep if I fire this, I think it's going to take up more of her shit. Yeah, see that got rid of more of her unstoppable bullshit. Death won't take me yet. Okay. He's almost out of it. Oh yeah. Ain't got it no more, huh? Gale! You killed Dale! A metallic tan fills the air as the slayer's form is drained of blood. Ashes to ashes, blood to blood, you have robbed another god of his chosen. What have I done? I didn't do shit. The monster did it. It was like the monster was like, oh, we got to kill him now. We have the final stone. I need to see it for myself. There it is. So innocent. I wonder if I can revive him. potential. You have done very well indeed. The nether stones pulse with psionic energy. Permeating you, pulling you in line with their rhythm. The throng quickens, rising, cresting on a single feeling. A location. A morphic pool beneath the city itself. So that's where the Chosen imprisoned the brain. Oh. Uh, why would they put it there? To conceal it. To maintain the illusion of their own control above ground. You think we're ready? With the stones in hand and the chosen dead, we stand as good a chance as we ever will. As to how good a chance that is, I cannot say. But I have hope. You no, know I feel like there's questions I would have liked to ask, like the Mind Flayer or like uh, the Emperor. Uh, we should go back to the Undercity docks. When we reach the pool. I feel like there's the things I would ask him, right? This, like, death, throw them or freedom, but a word of caution. Once we cross oh. into the other brain's domain, there will be no turn. Yeah, this back. is the monster I fucked. Finish your business here. So that's gonna be like the end of the game, the huh? Brain will be waiting for us. So, what does the emperor plan to do? Like, let's say we win. And let's say everything is done. 
we're all finished here we succeeded right what is his plan beyond that point like does he just disappear like what is what happens i, I want to know what does he imagine his future is what does he do beyond that point right is he um does he completely relinquish all control and he just disappears like does he want to does he want to have power again right because i feel like what he wants to do that matters a lot right that really matters a lot um let's see crimson mischief deals an additional one to four piercing against targets 50 percent of their hp that might be good for asterion be good for asterion put it on the mutilated carapace Repair blades are all yeah, I feel like I would give them to Asterion, right? Uh Gale. I haven't I haven't used him in a while. There's no coming back from that. Oh no! Dale is dead, dude. We lost Dale. <laughs> I, I feel bad I can't revive him. You can't. Oh man. Yeah, you cannot be resurrected. Restart the fight. That makes me Sag. I'm Sag, actually. I'm in a companion. Yeah, he's super dead. Man. Reload. Eh. <laughs> eh. Feeling fresh. This penis shot doesn't want to be a good life for him anyway. Gale's a homie, though. I like Gale. I do like Gale. I have, I obviously, I haven't used him since like act one. I haven't used him in a long time. I do like Gale. It is sad that he died. I'll burn a candle for him. From bones free. No more. Now, I feel like I could interpret that a couple of different ways. Is, was that the brain telling us? I feel like the way I interpret that is the brain is like, thank you for liberating me. Now watch out because you're, you've been fooled by the emperor. And when your usefulness is over, he's going to kill you. That's how, that's like how I would interpret that. Now, I don't know if that's true or not. I, I obviously don't know, but like that's kind of how it sounds to me Oren's mother Helena oh that's the mother here huh uh did I fight the undead dragon yeah we killed that today Bunch of bullshit Voker of Ball just has like a bunch of corpses lying around here. I talk to the bones. Relished tormenting this should have a chest here, right? Drow poison, serpent fang, bloody envy for the unworthy purple worm toxin, crawler mucus. Okay, what is this? Yeah, I, I have a hard time reading the, the death, death, kill, kill, death, 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 kill. I have a hard time reading that stuff. A ring, a plan for chaos. Like, ugh. Anything of use? That's old. Very hard fight. Oh, the dragon? Uh, yeah, the dragon was tough. And then he starts fucking... Then he starts dropping nuclear bombs on you. And it's like, what the fuck do I do about that? It's like, take cover. And like, okay, I took cover. Kaboom! It's like, what do you fucking want me to do there? There wasn't shit I could do. 
Missing out on the incest. The dragon was so hard at the start. None of the covers. Yeah, dude, I don't understand. Up oh, there goes Gale again. <laughs> uh, he died again. Can I? Oh, so that's. We use the altar key. Oh, okay, well. Can you speak with the dead mother? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Did I beat Final Fantasy VI? No, I haven't played it for a little while. Uh, are these guys all going to attack me? I think the last time I played it was like, what, Thursday night or Wednesday night or something? I haven't played for a little while. Just like a bird that eats his liver. Take his body, don't get, leave him in this hellish realm. And we like throw him over the side. We can't pick him up, he's too heavy. What about, can Karlak pick him up? Pick up. Encumbered. But is actually, does it actually show in her inventory? It, <laughs> it does. <laughs> I like his face in her inventory. He's so heavy though. If you insist. He's too heavy. Item Dale. Have Carlax carry his corpse all the way to the end. He's too heavy. Am I losing a few pounds? Send to camp. Throw him in a box in camp. All right, hang on. You can't, you can't send him to camp. You also can't throw him. <laughs> no, you can't. You can't do it. You, you're not allowed to. I tried to throw him over the edge. You can go to camp now, though. Can throw him if you have enough strength. Apparently, I don't have enough strength. Wait, what if I, um, hang on. Do I have any potion of strength? out the garbage <laughs> Dale! <laughs> I'm gonna miss him he shall be missed yeah No, you can't do the scroll. Dude, what the fuck? Yeah. You can't do a scroll over him. You can't do the scroll on him. <laughs> Come on. What? You can't do anything. You can't revive him. You can't. I just unsubbed. You son of a bitch. <laughs> you can't revive him. The buddy was so pretty. I literally can't revive him. He showed you the stars and you threw him off a ledge. <laughs> You literally, you cannot revive him. All these guys are going to try to kill me, aren't they? All right, uh, just in case these guys are all going to try to kill me, uh, I'm going to call it there. Guys, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for hanging out. I hope you guys enjoyed today's stream. Hey, lots of progress today. We did, uh, we killed Gortash. We killed the Super Dragon and we killed Orin all in one day. Uh, and uh, we also, unfortunately, Dale died. I'm really going to miss Dale the Wizard. Uh, he was just an awesome character. We loved him a lot. So I never got to talk to Jahara. No, I, is that the chick that I talked to? And then she died too, because she ran in and suicided, right? We talked to her. Uh, anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to call it a stream. I'll be back streaming tomorrow. Obviously we're still not done with Baldur's Gate. Uh, hopefully I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm not sure what we're playing tomorrow. It could be more Baldur's Gate. I think we might finish tomorrow, but I'm not sure.